It's Saturday, Saturday. Happy Saturday. Saturday. Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you. We have um, a first timer in here oh, tonight. Cool. We have Diane here this evening. So welcome, Diane. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining everybody. We appreciate it. We have Renee and Terry, of course, and Jingle Meow. Hello, hello. Wesley and Joshua, hello to all of you. Chi-Town Hustlers in the house. That's right. Hopefully everybody's having an amazing Saturday. It's hot and humid here. It's it's not as hot, but it's just really humid. You really feel the humidity in the desert. Yeah. I mean, it's 38%, which is almost borderline ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's that bad. When you're used to not having humidity, it really, truly is like, oh, what happened here? Yeah. Hi, Luis. How are Santa you this Luis? evening? Yeah, me and Luis were talking. Luis did a live stream last night, and we're, we're going to probably plan it out and maybe have Luis on the channel here and do like a multi-auction. Multi-camera multi angle. Yeah, multi-camera yeah. angle. So maybe get other people in too and auction off things. I think it'd be kind of cool. Like a, That'd be fun. What, would you, what do you call that? Like a roundup or? Round table, round table sort of auction. Auction, yeah. So be that'll be fun. That'll be exciting. Mm -hmm. Like that. We have some great items for you this evening, that is for sure. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Lots of jewelry, but what I think what we're going to do is we're going to do everything that's non-jewelry first, right? And then it'll just be straight up jewelry. And there's a lot of nice pieces. Yeah, we have <laughs> some very beautiful uh, native-made pieces, lots of sterling and turquoise. So, um, hey, Bear Flag. Hi, Bear Flag. How are you? Oh, did you take care of... Well, see, I don't know if he's listening. Um, Batman, if you are listening, we do not know what happened. Yeah, Batman messaged us and said that he was maybe blocked or something and couldn't get on the last auction. I emailed him. I haven't heard back. So hopefully everything's okay. The only way I can look to see if, if you're blocked, because we didn't block you. Mm -mm. We would have to, you'd have to the comment somewhere or, or do something where I can get a link to your YouTube channel and see. Yeah. So maybe a mod blocked you by chance. I, I hope not. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. So Batman, if you're listening, Mike tried to email you, and yeah. we do yeah, not we know what happened there. What's up, Mike Newsom? Dennis Dew. How's we it going? do not have the. We don't have Star Trek or games tonight. No, but the Star Trek. We're probably going to do an auction Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I was putting a lot together earlier, and I know I've got three or four little small pieces to put with it. Yep. And then um, found some more video games. There will be some Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever the next auction is. We bought another unit, <laughs> which is which is craziness. You know, um, yeah. that unit. And that, I'm going to try to edit it so it comes out next week. But let's just put it this way. It's gnarly. <laughs> it freaked you out. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's kind of creepy. It's really creepy. <laughs> really, really yeah. creepy. Yeah, okay, so it happened to some other people, too. It happened to Mike Newsom on Locker Nuts channel. It happened to huh. Jingle Meow on the Texas guy. So uh, we do not know what happened. Obviously, Batman was not uh, blocked on purpose. Yeah, the only way I can think Unless of is maybe a moderator block. The only way somebody could block, block people is if there's a moderator on Rogue, you know, if they've gone yeah. Rogue. <laughs> so, but, yikes, I hope not. Yeah, because we don't do it I from here. Not, no. Well, you, would, you do it when people, you get trolls in there, you'll block them. Yeah, but, but I wouldn't yeah. block Batman. Why you, would I do you that? You can never block Batman. You can't block Batman. What's happening no. back by Silver? Appreciate you guys coming here tonight. We're going to have... Uh, Wait, is that... Hmm? That's Batman. No, that's back by Silver. Oh. Well, why do you say I'm listening? I'm listening. Just, 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 just listening. saying he's listening. Just listening. Okay. Just chilling. Just chilling. <laughs> um, hello, Paula... Polishek TV, Polish, Polish from UK. Oh, neat. Wow, we got international And Dennis house. had that happen on January houses. So I wow. do not know. Strange. Do not know. Um, all right. Well, how about I go yeah, over the go. list while you yep. start? Because we have Let's a lot to get through tonight. <clears throat> Maybe Robin, but not Batman. <laughs> right? Um, all right, I will go over the rules of engagement for anybody who is new and just popping in. For the first time, we uh, use $2 increments. You must be registered to bid. It's free to register, but we do need the thing um, 
completely filled out. Uh, the form completely filled out, and that's up in the description link. Make sure that you are on live chat, not top chat, in order to get your bid in um, and seen, and so that you are up to date on everything. We'll give you a starting bid, and we go in $2 increments. We expect you to pay as soon as you have won an item via PayPal. We'll only expect accept PayPal to globalvoodoo at gmail.com. Please use uh, goods and services rather than friends and family. And thanks everyone. Yeah, I decided to go a little fancy tonight with my hair. So I don't know. It was Saturday. My hair wasn't doing much because of the humidity. So I figured, well, it wants to be wild. Why not at least keep it looking wild, I guess. I have some sangria in my favorite cup. Drinks all around. So like we said, I don't know. You want some sangria? It's right there. No. It's made in Italy. It's Italian sangria. I thought sangria was from Spain. Well, the sangria in Spain is phenomenal. Um, but this one is from Italy. All right. Um, so like we had said on, what did we do? Tuesday or Wednesday? I don't even remember what day it was that we did the auction uh, this week. But whatever day it was, like we said, we have mostly uh, jewelry this evening, though we do have some other things as well. And um, Dennis, just to let you know, I am cleaning up a couple of uh, jewelry boxes that we found. And then I, I haven't forgotten you uh, with that, I just didn't quite have a chance to get those cleaned up so I can send you some um, send you some pictures. So I have not forgotten you. Um, hello, Pamela. Sangria, yeah, it's like a sweet red wine, kind of like red wine and fruit like infused and it's kind of sweet and chilled. So it's perfect for a hot, humid day. That is for sure. Um, so like I said, we have some awesome jewelry this evening lots of uh native jewelry lots of turquoise and um silver uh, we have some coins this evening we've got some dvds uh sports cards poker memora poker type stuff star CDs. wars um CDs. cds toys i'm trying to go through my list my list is long <laughs> oh, we get the white socks locked and we have a white socks lot as well. So I think what we have decided that we are going to do is um, go through the stuff that is not jewelry first. And then that way the whole rest of the auction that we have will be jewelry. Yeah, and that way it's people that are not interested in jewelry. Right. You know, then they'll know, oh, okay, I'm going to wait three hours. Right. We don't want, if you're not a jewelry person, then we don't want you to have to wait. So, hello, Jonathan. So, yes, we will be getting to the jewelry. We're going to go through. We probably have about 10 lots that are non-jewelry related. And then we'll get into yeah, the jewelry yeah, after that. Maybe not even quite that many. So, what would you like to start with, my love? Let's do sports cards. Start with the sports cards? All right. Hello, Amber. Let me add Mike to the stream. Let me put him up here. All right, so we have a sport card lot. We're going to start the bidding off at $5. Please remember to go in $2 or more increments. Here we go. All right, if you watched the last video, this came out of that unit, and it's let's go through some of these guys. I'll show you here. I don't think there's a whole complete set of these, but I could be wrong. These are 1990 Pro Set NFL football cards. So I'm just going to kind of fly through these. Let's see if I, we got the Super Bowl cards in here. If I see anything that's, um, hey, that's when the Bears won, I think. Yeah, Super Bowl 20. Let's see if we see any superstars in the lot. But it's going to be everything in this box. You got Bob Greasy, Jack Lambert. There's duplicates, Tom Laundry. Some throwback guys here. Let's see if Jerry Glanville, Neil Anderson, Richard Dent, Hogenberg, McMichael. And all these cards are in really great shape. There's no creases or anything of that nature on there. It's the coach, Deep Cuts. There he is. That, you know how much that sweater is worth? 
a hundred dollar bill if you find one. Yeah. Cliffhangle. All right. Let's see. You see anybody else that we recognize here? Icky Woods. Remember the Icky Woods shuffle? I do not remember that at all. <laughs> Some of us do. I have a five dollar bin now. Seven. Bernie Tozar. Not just one, but two. Eric Metcalf. I've got Renee in at five, looking for seven. Jimmy Johnson. Some say he's the other coach. Steve Atwater. He's got some Broncos in here. Bobby Humphrey. The Lions. Were the Lions ever really good? I don't know, but, you know, um, for people that watch Gary V, um, he is saying that sports cards are going up, up, up again. Yeah, certain ones, you know, it's like anything, but it's not anything new. I mean, sports cards, they've been around. I mean, we, we saw well, I know. Day. Yeah, I know, but it's like not crazy, you know. It's not like you've got that 87 Barry Bonds that's now worth, that's finally worth $1,000, <laughs> you know. This is all the way back when there were fans in the stadium. You can see them on the cards. And Andre Risen. Let's just keep flipping through here. Yes, Terry, look at the feed. Renee was first at five, so we're looking for seven. There's a lot in here. Bob Golick. That's another team. Was this St. Louis or Los Angeles Rams? What does it say? That might have been Los Angeles Rams. There's Dan Reeves. Oh, this card. Now those cards got a little crease there. William White of the Lions. Mark Clayton. There's Dan Marino. Oh, look at that. Dan Marino, Don Shula. Anthony Carter. Now, now is that Dan team. Marino of Ace Ventura fame? Mm -hmm. yeah, there's only one Dan Marino. There's only one Dan Marino. Wade Wilson. So this are this is a lot of cars. There's a whole yeah, bunch of them then, in here. And there's a whole stack of NASCAR, which I'll be honest, I don't know anything really about NASCAR cars. Some of them look pretty wild as you see them. Phil Sims. So a whole bunch of these. Yeah, just, he goes on. Ken O'Brien. Goes on for days. Chris Carter. Andre Waters. Remember him? Mm-hmm. Reggie White. He, oh, I remember Reggie White. He passed away, didn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think so. I don't know. It's the Cardinals. Wow, there are a ton of right, so them. Get the gist on those. Here's another Barry Sanders that came in here. And then here's the one that's this Anthony Edwards autograph card. Wow. Collector's Edge Black Label. Looks like it's hand signed there with his number 33. Wow. Oh, I don't know. There's a serial number at the bottom. 27210. So maybe it's an insert card that he signed, or maybe that's how it came. I'm not 100% sure. We have a $5 bid looking for seven. So right. that includes an autographed card. That's pretty yeah, nice. So you're getting all those football cards here. Holy, wow. 1990, the autograph card. And then here, check these out. There could be some serious value in these. Plus the NASCAR cards. Right, let's, let's That's the one thing that we never really did was never the NASCAR. Uh-uh. Never really got into it. <coughs> Excuse me. Got some foils there. Yeah, so looks like there's some foils here. Here's Jeff Gordon. These are all in great condition. I was going to say, these look really minty fresh. Yeah, Rusty Wallace. And some, there's cards like this. It's like see-through. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's kind of neat. Yeah. Burton. There's our Jeff Gordon in here. Petty. Who? Tom Petty. Tom Petty's not in here. <laughs> or what was his name? Richard Petty. Richard Petty. Richard Petty. I think I saw Richard Petty here. No, that was just Richard Petty that you Richard had up, Petty. that you called it. That is Jeff Gordon. Why is it? It's Petty and Gordon, it says. Oh. Do you see that? Oh, well, there you go. Oh, you're right. Ken. Thank There's you. Petty. Richard Petty, not Tom Petty. <laughs> Maybe Tom Petty liked the NASCAR. All right, so there's that. Um, there's another Wallace and Johnson. So you gotta be careful. These ones are tricky. I don't know. Seven to Luis, now nine. Tony Stewart. And, and some of these might be like inserts here. I have oh, no Tony idea. Stewart. NASCAR cards, I don't know anything Skin about. Marks, Ricky Dutt. 
Now these look a little important. The foil cards. There's Jeff Gordon. Mike Newsom at 10. At Kenseth. Those are kind of hard to read. Shootout. Shootout. Bobby Levante. Yeah, these must be insert cards. Yeah, here. It's out because it's like S26. Uh -huh. So maybe some of these are worth some money or collectible. Or Jeff Gordon. It's so hard to read that at the bottom here. Elliot, somebody. Terry Levante. All right, get the gist there. Now here's where it gets the... Um, Django Meow says Bill Elliott retired. Bill Elliott, okay. So now this is a whole stack of these guys. And this is um, 2002 Press Pass Eclipse cards. Hmm. So here's the checklist. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure this is all here. I haven't checked. <laughs> Didn't all, check the all, checklist? Yeah, <laughs> it's all these cards. Here's Daryl Earnhardt Jr. Daryl Earnhardt? Daryl Earnhardt. You said Daryl. I said Dale. Well, that sounded like Daryl. I said Dale. Sounded like Daryl. Daryl, Dale. All right. Uh, there, well, there's Dale Jarrett, not Daryl. All Dale. right, then. <laughs> 12 to Louise, now 14. Jimmy Spencer. At Kenseth, Bobby Levante. Hello, January House. Kyle, Kyle Petty. Hello, Jeff Gordon. Brett Bodine. And uh, John Andretti. Is that Michael Andretti's son? I don't know. Might be. Another Jeff Gordon. Another Jeff Gordon. And this is Kurt Busch. Ryan Newman. Another Gordon. Michael Walshrip. So you get the point here. Let's get to these here because these were kind of interesting. Now, this is another, like, insert card. Well, look at that. That's kind of funky looking, isn't yeah. it? Now, at the top there, it says SN3 of 12. Serial number? I don't know, to be honest with you. Kevin Harvick. So Supernova, yeah. Look, and it kind of like shimmers. Yeah, there's only one. It's a there. shimmery one. There's only one of these, and then there's all of these that are kind of neat. These are all see-through. Oh wow! Eclipse Virginia 500 racing champions Dale Jarrett. I have a feeling someone who knows about the NASCAR stuff is going to get a heck of a deal on this because yeah, Richard, Richard Petty. Those are really cool looking. Yeah. They're almost like trophy kind of looking things. They're Tony Stewart and they're see through. Huh. So you can see like, yeah. right through it. RC 24 36 at the very top there. I don't know if these are really special or not. Oh, drop one. Great. That, that was the million dollar card there. right there. Well, there he is. Kevin Harvick. I'm at 14 to Mike. 14 now 16. Yeah, all right, so let me show you. I didn't do there's something crazy damage to this one. There's a Jeff Gordon. Yeah, see. But that is not really <laughs> And then Tony Stewart. And then this one here, Steve Park. Huh. So there's quite a bit. It's enough to fill this this cop box here, which is probably what? 200 cards. Wow. All right, we got 16 to Louise, 16 now 18. All of that. So you're getting half half of it's like football, half of it's like uh, NASCAR. So. Yep. And then the autograph card here. And the autograph. That's right. Sixteen dollar bid now. Eighteen. Uh, I'm at a sixteen dollar bid to Luis, looking for eighteen. If you are just coming in and you've never registered before, please be sure that you use the link above to register. Soon as you are registered, I get that information in real time, and right. you can bid. The one card we there was a little pile I didn't show here. There's a Neil Anderson card here. He's got a little bit of crease. Just want to make that. That's a point. Not a big deal. Oh, and there, oh, there's something else in here. I'm at 20. Dennis Dew's at 20. Oh. There's a Marvel Overpower board game. So this we know we looked this one because we auctioned off. Last early this week. Oh, oops. So you're catching this one too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 20 to Dennis now, 22. Yes, Wesley, dear. <laughs> you are perfect. You are good to go. $20 bin now, 22. 20 now, 22, 2, 2, 20 now, 22. I've got 20 to Dennis, do. Looking at 22. 
all the NASCAR, all the football, including. Look at that whole stacks like inserts. I got 22. 22 now, 24. I got a $22 bid now for two Louise looking for 24. Those ones are really cool. Yeah, these are neat. I'd be interested to see the value of them. I know. Whoever gets this, I really am curious as to the value of it. This we, one too. This one looks really different. We're trying to put in a swimming pool. We could be giving up the swimming pool with those NASCAR. Yeah, shoot. Maybe we have no swimming idea. Swimming pool money. It could have been swimming pool <laughs> money. We don't know. And then you've got the autograph there as well. 22. I've got 22 to Callie Louise. 22. I will put in the chat going once to Luis at 22. All those cards. It is like a Nicola card. Dennis is out. And Mike Newsome, you were in there. I don't know if you're still in there. Mike Newsom, are you in or out? I am at 22 to Luis. Dennis Dew's like, I want the NASCAR. I'm going to say going twice. There seems to be a bit of a delay. He is out as well. Then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to call it Luis. They are yours at 22, sir. Sold. Where's my hammer? Congrats, Luis. Thank you. There we go. There's my hammer. Dropping the hammer. Dropping the hammer. The first hammer of the night. All right. Well, that got us going. Let's see what else we've got. The white Sox lot. White Sox lot. All right, guys. Now, I know some of us in here are Chi-Town people. We're Cubbies fans. But the White Sox they are a Chicago team. They were a winning team. Yeah. We're going to do. And that's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I'm going to say about <laughs> that. They don't, don't, uh, don't overlook the resale value of the White Sox. That's all I'm saying. It's baseball fever now to kick back in. That's right. We're going to start the bidding off at $10 on this. Okay, Alan, thanks for stopping by. We're going to be. Uh, we'll be here for a while tonight. So there we go. We're starting the bid at ten dollars. Right. So everything here is brand new. I, I've got them in bags here just to protect them from the elements and everything like that. This is American League 2005 champions with uh, the licensed hologram sticker on the back. It's a strap back hat. I'm not sure that the camera's picking it up there. It is brand new, never worn. Then we have the follow-up, the World Series Champions 2005 Chicago White Sox hat. So it's got the hologram there along with the strap back, and it has the tag still, um, which is great. Sometimes when you're buying these hats, though, like in the store, sometimes they don't have tags, you know? They just know the price or whatever. So that one, that's why this one doesn't have a tag. It does it. Nope. And then we have the size medium Chicago White Sox 2005 World Champions Chicago White Sox t-shirt that's brand new, size medium, with tags. So everything brand new with tags. 2005 Chicago White Sox American League Champions, and then finally the World Series Champions. That's a lot of uh, go Sox go. All right. Hello, Pirate. All right. So we have some world champion world series champions white Sox hats and t-shirt here we're looking for a ten dollar opening bid on this who's got me at ten dollars i include shipping i it includes shipping all items include shipping i understand we've got mostly cubbies fans in here but think of the resale value anybody in this for 10 bucks or maybe you got a friend that's a Sox fan maybe yeah. you know someone that's a Sox fan I'll give it a second in case there's a lag. Otherwise, then we will pass and we will just pop it up on eBay. Not a problem. Two brand new hats. They're so brand they're new, guys. Ones. They're both strap backs, too. And then the, the White Sox shirt. This one actually does have a hologram on it. It's just underneath, inside the bag there on the shirt. You can't really see, but it's brand new with tags. Size medium. Amber's in at 10. Got 
God, can you believe that was 15 years ago? Uh, and that's one? hard to believe. And I've got Luis at 12, 12, now 14. Even if they're not your team, think of the resale value. And I've got 15 to Pirate. Pirate's like, heck yeah, I know I can sell that for a heck of a lot more than 15 for the three of those. 15, now 17. That's how they get you when the team your team wins the championship. Thirty dollar hat, twenty five dollar t shirt. Right, that's know. exactly <laughs> how they get you. Well, anything nowadays, any type of merch or any type of licensed product. I mean, you, it's we're gonna get a t shirt for ten dollars at. Hey, lady antique. I've got Luis at seventeen, so you're getting both brand new hats, then the t shirts. Pirates at twenty. Twenty now, twenty two. Twenty now, twenty two, two two. Twenty now, twenty two. All three have the holograms on, which is nice. World Series, because it's Chicago. So when the Sox won, there was people bootlegging stuff left and right. Yeah. Not about it. Yep. Just like with the Cubs, and the Blackhawks, the Bears. These are all authenticated licensed gear. Licensed gear. Even if we're not Sox fans, they are a Chicago team. And when your team loses, you kind of hop on the bandwagon a little bit. You know, really you know, you have to, you know, at least follow your town if you got, you know. Let's just think about this. You can put it on the board. Yes. <laughs> you know, you know that That's the Sox yeah, announcer. You can put it on the board. I do know. <laughs> All right. I've got 20 to Pirate. 20 to Pirate going once. Yep. As soon as I do that, right? 22, 22 to Luis. 22 now, 24. 22 now, 24, 4, 4, 22 now, 24. Pirate is out. I'm going to call it then sold, Luis. This is yours. Luis is going to be the guy getting the deals tonight. Awesome, Luis. Luis at 22. I know you can sell them for a heck of a lot more than that for sure. Right. Congratulations. All right, let's do some Star Wars. All right, let's bring the Star Wars lot out, guys. I did. I labeled it Star Wars. All right, we've got a Star Wars lot coming up here for you. All brand new, in the box, unused. We are starting this out at $15. Remember, all bids include shipping. Here you go. All right, this is all brand new. It's sealed here. You're going to get everything that's right here. This first one is a Star Wars Hot Wheels BB-8, brand new, from 2014. It's kind of cool. Check that out. BB-8. Ooh, Kylo Ren, Star Wheels or Star Wars Hot Wheels. <laughs> Kylo Ren. And that is from 2014 as well. We have a Black Series. This is the 3.75 inch figure. It's the first Order Stormtrooper. Comes with Two guns there. The box is in mint condition. And this one was from right around that same era. We had another one. Oh, 2015. Yep. So 2015, 3.75 inch, not the six inch ones. The six inch one's a little bigger. Yep. That's a smaller one. It's pretty much the size of these that are the typical card back figures. So here we have a Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, I'm probably going to butcher that. Guavain. Enforcer? I call it, yeah, probably. Guavian. 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 I'm at 19 now, 21. No marks or any stickers on the back here. We have another Kylo Ren, Star Wars The Force Awakens. And I believe that there was um, two variants of this Kylo Ren when this series came out. I think this is one of the variants. And these are all right around 2015, right? Um, yeah, 2015. Yep. Okay. 21 to jingle me out. 21 now, 23. And then we have this one here, again from The Force Awakens. This is uh, PZ-4CO. So like 3CPO, three three but 4CO. Yeah. <coughs> oh, oh, man. Choke on your cell phone. Choking on yourself. So you're getting all of the figures in the car for one money, including shipping. We are at $21 to jingle me out. 21 yeah. now, 23. So four brand new action figures and two brand new Hot Wheels. All mint on card. The boxes are minty fresh. No, they no there is no, no, no nothing straight. at all. It is a great Star Wars lot, Luis. Absolutely. Yeah, it's nice. 
these were kept um, collector, condition. collector condition. Yes, collector condition for sure. I'm at 23 now, 25. 23 now, 25, 5, 5, 23 now, 25. And obviously the sticker is our little lot sticker. We'll take yeah, off. that blue sticker, that's just us. 23 now, 25. Jingle Meow is out. Uh, looks like Wesley Deer was the only other one in there. So Wesley Deer, are you still in? I've got 23 to buyer's resell. Looking for Wesley. If you are out, just let me know. Not a problem. Just let me know. Otherwise, we're looking at a $25 bid. Wesley is out. So I'm going to go ahead and call it sold to buyers resale at $23. Congratulations. That is a great buy. Congratulations on that. It's not in that. Um, there's the bucket oh, there that's over on the wine bar. All right, let's move, let's move another uh, action figure lot. All right, no, some more action figures again. For those of you hanging out here with us tonight, remember that we are doing all the non-jewelry items first, and then the rest of the auction will be jewelry. So that way, those of you that jewelry is not necessarily your thing, um, you know, we can get through this stuff first. Those of you hanging out for the jewelry, again, we've got some beautiful native turquoise and silver uh, some really super nice pieces this evening. Okay, January house. That's what we don't understand. Okay, we said this earlier. So if Batman's just coming in, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna time out for just a second here. But, um, Mike sent Batman an email. January house. Can you send Batman a message? We have no idea why he's blocked, and we're trying to unblock him. But what do we need? We need. I need a link to his e we need, uh, YouTube account. I need a link to his YouTube account, Mike. Yeah, Josie, we tried. Um, under settings, you can see blocked people and unblocked him. We tried already. And, oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so under YouTube settings. I tried to look. I don't know exactly where it was at. Yeah, because what I have to do is that you have to go and find the user, then click the about page, and then usually there's an option to block or unblock. Do I have to do it, or can a mod do it? I don't know. I'm asking. All right, we're gonna move on. I will deal with that in the chat. I'm trying to get. Um, I'm trying to get, can I bring this, bring up YouTube on here? But I would have to be signed in as you, right? Yeah. And I'm not going to be. So that's not going to work for me. Well, what do you need to do? Okay. Go under settings and you can see blocked people and unblock him. Just hit control F to find a, the name. Click on your icon then settings. Or control F and type his name. All right, Mike's going to go over and do that. Yeah, we have no idea why that happened. Somebody must have blocked him and we... Huh? No, he's talking to January House trying to get in. All right. Uh, Jingle Meow says if you control F and type the name, it goes right to him. Uh, in the meantime, hello, Knox Brothers. How are you doing tonight, Diane? I'm so glad you are having a great time this evening. Diane's new with us, so if you are one of our regulars, if you'll let Diane know, hello. We are a great little family here. Not a whole ton of us, which uh, sometimes makes it nice, right? Because everybody then gets a chance to bid. Um, so we are going to do a loose uh, action figure lot next. Um, as soon as we can get poor Batman unblocked, because I am not sure what happened to him. So we're going to try and get Batman unblocked here um, and get that taken care of. Well, I knew Control-C and Control-V. <laughs> 
All right. The problem is I'm logged in as me on the computer and not as Mike. Under settings, you don't even see that option. Can you just hit un under? Well, okay. While you're in YouTube, can you hit control F to try and find his name and type it in? Hmm. All right. Why don't you come do this and I'll try and do that. Copy his URL for YouTube, and then I can unblock him if that's the case. Because there's no option here to search. Like, I didn't search my own comments, and it's not coming up. It's like somebody deleted them. Um, blocked user settings. It's under blocked user settings. Any scale model kits or railroad stuff tonight? Nope, not tonight. We do not have any tonight, Wigwag. Do you see blocked user settings? No. I'm under YouTube Studio, so mine's different than like a viewer. All right, you come do this and I'm gonna go look. Let me see if I can see it. Maybe right. maybe some right. just a fresh set of eyes. All right, let's go ahead. Okay. All right. All right, guys. On the loose action figures. Um five bucks. Is that where we're at? Yeah. I, I'm just having a problem following where. It was right under this. Um, oh, I see him. Okay. 24. All right. Here we go. We did do some sports memorabilia already. Um, I don't think there's any more else tonight. All right. $5 opening bid on the loose figures. I am going to go try and unblock Batman. All right. So <laughs> if you watched the previous video, this, this all came out of storage yet, so they might be a little dirty. I'll wash them down um, before I send them out. This is a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure here. And let's see what date on that guy 1992 Let's see 1990 it looks like so that guy's included here we got some batmans and this batman here is from 1994 some of these little batman figures could be 10 15 bucks on ebay here's another batman on him. Sometimes you got a little, oh, there it is. Little China. There it is. DC Comics 1996. I'm back. <laughs> we got the Incredible Hulk. This looks like a, let's see, is there any tape you can tell? Yeah. 1995 Marvel. So you're there. Here's another Batman here. Now his bat, his part of his helmet there, the ears part was like, I think the dog got to it. And this one is from 1990 Marvel Batman. Kenner. Here we have a Robin, because you can't have a Batman without a Robin. The date on this one is 1993, DC Comics, Kenner. And then this one's really cool. I think this is an alien figure. Some of these can go for a really high dollar, especially these earlier ones. Check that out. And where did I see the date on him? Okay. 1992 Fox. Is that an alien or is it a predator? It's one of those two. <laughs> so we've got a total of seven action figures here. We've got the, the four Batman figures. Put those guys over here. We've got this either Alien or Predator, one of the two films. Vintage Turtle figure here. No issues at all with him. His joints are nice and tight. Actually in really great condition. A lot of times you find this guy and his arms are missing. Especially this arm right here. I've, I've, every time I've come across him, like, he's, he's always missing that arm, that hand. <laughs> and then we got the incredible Hulk there. So, four and three, seven action figures. Can you find any luck with that? Yeah, hold on. 
Okay, Kim's in the zone here. So I'm going to go over here, guys, take a look. What's going on here? What's going on? $5 opening. All right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Jingle Me also is just type his YouTube name in, go to the three dots, and select unblock. So that's the problem that we I can't even find him. I don't, no. All right, Dennis, dude, that's an alien figure there. Appreciate that, Dennis. Uh, all right, so we got ten dollars. Ten dollars for the slot. Is there any other interest in the slot? We need a bit of twelve dollars. That it does include free shipping for this uh, action figure lot here. We got the Knox Brothers at ten. I'm going to say going once. That's a silly deal. It's a deal, deal, deal. Wheels, deals, and steals. Going once in the chat. Looking for a twelve dollar bid. Seven action figures. That's like what a buck fifty a figure. Ninja Turtle figures probably what 14 15 bucks. The Batmans, you could probably lot them all up, maybe get 20. All right, we got some action Jackson coming in now. We got Brendan at $12 bid. So we're at 12 now, guys. Looking for 14. We got 14 14. We're at 12. That's what I'm saying, Kim. I, I looked, it's like something bizarre. Like, well, you know what? If January House, I don't know if January House or Luis, if you got his channel, if you can just send it through Messenger to me that would be great Knox Brothers in that 14 we're at 14 looking for $16 we got the uh, alien the Batman and Robins at 14 looking for 16 I'm gonna say going twice at 14 with the Knox Brothers any other interest any interest in these action figures Ooh, they're all vintage Going twice. We're at fourteen dollars. Looking for sixteen. I am not. I am not Bizarre. seeing it. Even, usually, I can search a user by the comments. It's not even pulling up, which is odd. It's like it's like Batman has <coughs> gone completely away. All right, I see Brendan is out. Hello, Christy. I've got $14 to Knox Brothers. Last call. Any advance? I am at fourteen brothers, fourteen dollars to Knox Brothers. You create a new currency? Fourteen brothers? Okay, so Jingle Meow says he could have accidentally blocked us by mistake. So January House, if you are listening, Mike, um, ask him to look on his end and see if he accidentally blocked us. Yeah, have him type in Global Voodoo and then go to, I think it's the About section on my main channel. And then there'll be an option, I think it says Report, and you can, it'll say Block or Unblock. That could be a possibility, too. I mean, Batman can register. I mean, like, just put a new, make a new YouTube. But yeah. I mean, it's kind of silly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it Knox Brothers. They are yours at fourteen dollars. Congratulations. Goodbye. Congratulations. Moving on. Moving on. Knox Brothers is starting a YouTube channel. Oh yeah. Well, he's already got a metal detecting one. I subscribed to it earlier. Yeah. But he was saying um, when we were, I was watching Pirates Auction, he was going to be doing a reselling one. Oh cool. September maybe. Nice. Maybe Knox, you can maybe let people know when uh, the channel's up and running. Yeah. Cool. Check out. Awesome. Awesome. Get it? All right. Well, we are trying to figure out poor Mr. Batman over there because we don't know what the heck happened. Again, for those of you just turning in. Uh, we're going to finish off with the non-jewelry things and then lots and lots of the rest of it's going to be jewelry and there's a lot of great stuff. Lots of sterling silver, lots of precious, uh, semi-precious stones, turquoise, uh, things like that. So, next lot, uh, which number is this? Because we have this two of these. Okay, so this is lot number 273. We have two CD lots tonight. Um, and so this one is particularly lot 273. So if you win, if you would please put that in the description um, so that we know. We are going to start the bidding off on this at $10. Remember, all bids include shipping. Yeah, here's a whole stack here, guys. This is um, 
So probably go media mail. So it might take a couple extra longer days in the shipping process. Um, these are all in great condition. They came out of the previous unit. Now I want to just make a note here. On some of them, sometimes there'll be like a little name or something, like on a, on a disc or on a case. And if you use one of those magic erasers, it'll come right off. Mm -hmm. um, so the, all these are in really excellent condition. They're, they're very, none of them are beat up really. Like they, they should all be playing just fine. And just like we said in previous auctions, if there's an issue, if this doesn't work, just mess with us and we'll take care of you. But um, I'll count them all up here in a few. The first one is George Carlin Complaints and Grievances. We got Switch Foot, Nothing is Sound. Well, that one doesn't have any markers or anything like that on that. Oh, check this out. This is such a great movie. The original motion picture soundtrack of the Ray Charles Ray. That was a great movie. Check out what's on here. <laughs> Mess Around. That's a great tune. I should have kept this one. This one's nice. Georgia on my mind. Oh, yeah, it's all the hits. Georgia on my mind. All right, Nickelback, all the right reasons. I mean, people hate Nickelback, I, but I like Nickelback. I really do. We saw them live a couple times. This one's got a photograph on there, Saving Me, Far Away, Rockstar. Here we have Sarah McLaughlin. Maybe? Oh, yeah, that's a great one. Building a Mystery. This was like a CD single. Remember when these came out? Uh huh. I do. Like, All right, we're going to tease you. We're not going to release the album yet. But uh, we'll let you, you know, if you give us $4 for these CDs. <laughs> I think they were like six ninety nine. I know. I'm at twelve dollars a jingle meow. Josie figured out how to do it from the phone, but unfortunately your phone is what's um on the account. Uh on the account. So let me see if I can find something similar. Right, um, so this is got building a mystery and I will remember you. We have a nineteen nineties country C D here. Let's see who's on this one here. They're actually in really great shape. We've got the Diamond Rio, John Anderson, Pam Tillis, Shenandoah, Lori Morgan, Lori Wright, or Lori White, Robert Ellis, C. Warner, Restless Heart, Fantastic Four, the album. So this is probably the soundtrack to the Fantastic Four film. We've got Velvet Revolver on here, Taking Back Sunday, Josh Stone. Let's see, anybody else? Some 41, Simple Plan, Loser. Orange Range. Hey, Travolta and Olivia Newton John. This is the Grease original soundtrack. Some of these soundtracks, guys, could be worth some money. No doubt about it. There's all the uh, tracks on that one there. It's a double disc. No, it's a single one. It's in like pristine condition. We have Green Day International Super Hits. Never been a big fan of Green Day. Maybe there's some hits on here. Another Nickelback, The Long Road. That's got part of the sticker on it from when those side stickers are on it. This one's got Flat on the Floor, Someday, Believe It or Not, Feeling Way, Figure You Out. That's a good album here. So we've got two Nickelbacks here. we got Poison, Greatest Hits. Cam, there's Poison. Your boyfriend, Brett Michaels. A long, long time ago, we had this album. Uh, one of the first Poison album, Autographed. Remember that, Kim? I do. I'm still trying to figure out how to get Kim's figuring it out. But we had the album Autographed, and we gave it away for a charity thing like nine years ago on our YouTube channel. And we gave it away to somebody. We never heard back from them. <laughs> so maybe they sold it and they got filthy rich. But um, anyway, Poison Greatest Hits. You got all, all the hits on here. Talk Dirty to Me. Every Rose Has a Thorn. That's nice. Here's Glory, the soundtrack. Wasn't that with um, Matthew Broderick and Morgan Freeman? That was a good movie. So here's the soundtrack on that. Pretty good shape. I bet that's like a $10 or $15 bill on eBay. That's what we plan to do with them. Our, Our Lady Peace, Healthy and Paranoid Times. Oh, yeah, right? Crazy times we live in now. Let's see what's on here. With a fooch. Your blame us picture. Where are you? I forgot what their, one of their hits was. All American Rejects move along. Dirty little secret. Change your mind. It's 11, 11 p.m. We have Green Day Bullet in a Bible. Got a slipcase on there. Um, is this like a multiple set? Let's see. 
All right, so there's two. Oh, there's a CD. There's the tracks on it. American Idiot. And then it's got a DVD, Green Day Bullet in a Bible. It's actually in excellent condition here. So maybe that's like part of a live concert, or maybe it's some videos. Here's the uh, original motion picture to the movie Chicago, special limited edition. So it's got a gatefold here. It's got uh, a little package there, a little insert. It looks like these are both, oh no, one's a CD. Here's the CD with all the songs on it. And then here's a DVD. That's nice, kind of like that Green Day one. Why is Richard Gere so cool? <laughs> Where is that on there? And then, <coughs> excuse me, we got Blink-182, greatest hits. This, key, this uh, case right here has got some scratches right there. You can see on the plastic. Not a big deal, though. But it's got all of their hits on it right there. Let's do a little bit of roll call and see how many exactly are in this lot. We've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 total CDs. And again, those are all ship out media mailers. Some good hits in here. Let me get the, you got the, the Ray soundtrack, you got Poison, you've got Blink 182, Nickelback. Some of these sets have like the Chicago and then the Green Day, they got multiple a CD and a DVD. Figure it out, Kim? No. Uh, have know. they all been played? No skips. They, I, haven't, I honestly haven't tested them, but just from looking at the condition, they look like they'd all played just fine. Okay, I do not know what to do. I, I mean, I, I we are you, uh, we're. I'm sorry, we just can't do anything at this moment in time. I mean, I don't know. I somebody don't. Somebody sends me a direct link through Messenger. Can somebody send Mike a direct was, link uh, through link. Fa through so Facebook we, Messenger? So if, you, if you see his channel, right, and you're on YouTube or you're on Internet Explorer or wherever you're at, click the hyperlink, the link at the very top, right, where it'll say like YouTube.com forward slash use your bat angles fishing or whatever. Yeah. Send me that link, and then I'll get it. And if he's blocked, I'll unblock him. That's all I can do right now. Okay. I spent forty minutes the other day trying to look for whatever he's talking about. It's not. I know. I can't. I can't. I can't <laughs> find it. So, January House, can you send us a, a link to his channel, or have Batman send a link in the email to his channel so we can try and get to it? Yeah. Because I can't. I can't. I'm missing all of the stuff. I can't. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's happened. I don't know why it happened. I don't know what happened, but I'm at 22 to Jingle Meow. I'm at 22 now, 24. Yeah, you get all of these here. We'll have a lot next coming up. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a smaller rock lot of CDs, but there's some amazing titles in here. Let me go check my email to see if somebody's sent me that. All right. All right. I'm at 25 now, 27. I got 27 now, 29. 27 now, 29, 99. 27 now, 29. Bear Flag says he looked for his page two and he can't find him either. I don't, and he doesn't have anyone blocked. So I don't know what happened. I've got 29 and uh, Jingle Meow, we'd be at. 31. Jingle Meow, we go in $2 increments, so we'd be at 31. Are you in at 31? I've got 31 now, 35. I've got 31 now, 35. Uh, and I've got 35 now, 37. I got 37 now, 39. Uh, Panda, I'm not sure. Panda has the link. Panda, you can always email it to Mike, globalvoodoo at gmail.com. I've got 37 now, 39. 37 now, 39, 99, 37 now, 39. And 40, I got 40. 40 now, 42 on all of the CDs. 40 now, 42, 2, 2, 40 now, 42. 40 now, 42. 
And hello to Panda. <laughs> 40 now, 42. I got 40 to Dennis do. Looking at 42. Do I have 42? I even tried going right from his user to his users, like YouTube user forward slash this handle. It doesn't come up. So the page doesn't exist. Hmm. All right. It says page doesn't exist. All right, 42 to Jingle Meow. Panda's going to send us the link. Okay, so cool. awesome. Thank you. All right, I've got 42. 42 now, 44. And Dennis is at 45. Hello, Katie Ann. 45 now, 47. I know Jingle Meow. I know you said last, but and she is out. All right, there we go. So, Dennis Dew, they are yours at 45, sir. Congratulations. Congrats, Dennis. Thank you. And I'm sad that I was missing out on that because there were so many sing-along songs on right. there. Well, you, you get this next one. You'll know these. I'll know. Th this was 273, right? Yeah, we're doing 272 now. Okay. Dennis, when you pay, will you please put lot 273 for me, please? Oh, thanks, Katie Ann. Because we do have another lot of CDs coming up, and so I want to make sure that I get you the right one. This will be the last CD lot we have. We have a couple other things here yet tonight that are not jewelry, and then we'll go right into all that great jewelry stuff. Um, I think the cameras are going to come um, this week. We're either going to do an auction on Tuesday or Wednesday, and yeah. we just did not get a chance to get that all are put they together. For a digital camera or film cameras? I know there was both last week. I've got both. And it's, we'll have them in the auction. Next Let's week. bring out both. Yeah. All right. Uh, hey, uh, Duane, how are you guys doing? Duane. All right. Okay. You sent it to Mike's Facebook. All right. Okay. So this? I will like go CDs. through the CDs. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Just mention this one here because the only reason I kept it, it cracked because the sticker is there. I know there's some collectors that they like. Okay. That. Perfect. All right. Um, so this one is lot number 272. And again, we're going to start this off at a $10 opening bed. No, no cameras tonight. Um, all right. I'm going to put this on here. And here we go. Now, uh, this blue little sticker, of course, this is just our lot number that will come right off. Even though this case is cracked, the jewel case is cracked, Mike left it because some collectors do like that sticker on there. So um, he made sure to leave that on here. So we've got an Ozzy. Um, looks like Mama, I'm Coming Home is on here. Time After Time, No More Tears, Road to No Oh, even I know some of these. Um, Mama. Mama, I'm coming home. Yeah, see, I know that one. All right, Pearl Jam, Hit Savers Platinum. You've got a live, even flow, Jeremy on that one. So this is 10, of course. There's, I mean, my Bad Bad, you should be good to go. I apologize. Somebody blocked you. Some, some moderator blocked you. Okay, That's so there we go. Back. Someone let Batman know that he is good. Yay! We finally got it. Woo -woo, woo -woo. Uh, so, I mean, I don't even know where you start on this one. I mean, they're all just hits. Yeah. yeah. All the way home. Um, Ooh, that one. Wait, look at this one. Oh, nice. We've got an Alice in Chains here. Got some good ones on there, like Rooster. It's got down in a hole. Uh, does it have down? Yep, down in a hole. Yep, it does have that one. Yep. So good ones, good ones on there. Those of you that grew up in the same era as me and Mike, you'll be loving these, right? GNR lies with the parental advisory on that. All right, ladies that grew up at the same time I did. Wasn't Duff hot? Like I didn't care for Axel very much. I thought he was like, eh. but I had such a crush on Duff. He was so hot. Um, just a little patience. Yeah, some are patient. I don't walk in the streets at night, just trying to get it right. I know y'all are singing with me. All right, we oh, got. Plug. If you, if you 
you want to hear a patient's version, check out the new Chris Cornell. Oh yeah, if you want to hear a really good version of patients, check out on YouTube Chris Cornell doing patients unplugged. Oh my, or like uh, acoustic, it's fabulous. All right, we've got Use Your Illusion One. We all remember this one, don't we? Uh, of course, if this now Use Your Illusion One had November Rain on it. Again, it's got Joy's name on it, but you can take a magic eraser and get Joy's name off, right? I loved November Rain. Or maybe you want some joy in your life. Maybe you do want some joy in your life. Ooh, you're here. But I'm full. I will know not one single song on this Pantera album, but it's the Great Southern Trend Kill. No, I really won't. What would I know? I know not one Pantera song, Mike. Read off the, the titles. The Great Southern Trend Kill, Warner, Drag the Waters, Tens, 13 Steps to Nowhere, Suicide Note Part 1 and 2, Living Through Me, Hell's Wrath, Floods, The Underground in America, Sand Blasted Skin. I, I'm not even kidding you. I know not one single one of those songs. You want to listen to that tonight, then? No, I really don't want to listen to it. Anthrax Live, The Island Years, Air, Parasite, Keep It in the Family, Caught in the Mosh. Yeah, I also know none of these songs. They're not great karaoke songs, in my opinion. Okay, Metallica and Justice for All. That is a classic one. See, I do know. Um, Read the date at the bottom of that one, because that was probably the very popular. Oh yeah, okay. So look this up for those of you that are resellers. This is the original 1988. And then it should have a, uh, a catalog number up in the spine. Okay, catalog number on the spine. Okay, here's the catalog number. 9608122. Believe it or not, those things do make a difference. Those of you that are resellers know of this stuff. Electra Records. We threw the tracks on that one. Blackened and Justice for All, I the Beholder, One, The Shortest Straw, Harvester of Sorrow, The Freight Ends of Sanity, To Live Is to Die, Die or See You. I think I know in Justice for All. <laughs> and then, do you know what it is? It's the Black Album. Also Metallica, the Black Album. There's the catalog number on that one, 961113-2. Uh, That's the album they said they sold out with. 1991, Electra. Okay, and this is, no, I know the Black Album. This is the one that I know. Mm -hmm. Enter Sandman, Sad But True, Holier Than Thou, The Unforgiven, Where I Make, Wherever I May Roam, Don't Tread On Me, Through the Never, Nothing Else Matters, A Wolf and Man, mm -hmm. The God That Failed, My Friend of Misery, The Struggle Within. Yeah, this is the yeah. only like Metallica that I really so I don't, and I, don't, be, um, forgiven. I don't care like if that means that they sold out or whatever, but it is the only one that I like. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine, awesome, late eighties, early nineties CDs. <laughs> Okay. Yes, the I don't like having a chair in my way trying to get through here. My butt's too big. All right. All right, I am at 32 to jingle, and here's Batman. Woohoo! Yay! We did it, it's Batman. only taken we us a day, like four it. days, but <laughs> we finally, finally got it. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Nice. All right. I am at 36 to jingle me out. Well, I am, but I haven't even finished one whole glass yet. Here's what happened. Mike puts that chair very close to me for here, and then we don't move it. And then I try and squeeze through there. And uh, Oh, he had to re-log into YouTube on his PC and confirm his cell. Oh, my goodness. Craziness. All right. I am at, let's see here. Um, I hope that we went into dollar increments. Uh, 43 to Jingle Meow is where I am currently at. Dude, there was nothing like going to see a Pearl Jam show and they like open release. Mm -hmm. and every year in Chicago. Every Chicago, yeah. Release, release, release. All right, I am at 43 to Jingle Meow. Looking for 45. 43 now, 45, 5, 5, 43 now, 45. Here we go. 
I've got 45 to Dennis do. 45 now, 47. 45 dollar bid now, 47. I know it's like pulling it right out of like between the two of us. It's like our own personal CD collection oh, yeah. back yeah. in the day. There's no doubt about it. If I didn't have these CDs, they, they would be. They would not be on auction. Yeah. <laughs> if we did not still currently own them. I have 47 to Jingle Meow. Our, our CD and movie collection is outrageous. Yeah. How much we've got. It's almost too much. Jingle Meow came in first, Adam. I'm at 47 and then I've got 50 <laughs> and 52. All right. I've got 52 now, 54. 52 now, 54, 4, 4, 52 now, 54. Awesome, awesome. Oh no. Adam, do you have a United States address, Adam? Yeah, we're still trying to figure out the whole international thing, guys. It is, it's, it's difficult. Adam, I see that you are registered, but you are in Australia. Yeah, that would probably be about 40, 50 bucks to ship it to Australia. I need to know if you have a U.S. address that it can be shipped to, Adam. <clears throat> Otherwise, we're going to have to back up here. And I hate to do that. We are U.S. shipping only. Unfortunately, I wish I. I am sorry, Adam. I'm sorry, Adam. Yeah, I mean. The shipping would just be as much as you're paying yeah, on it. It would be astronomical. I've shipped t-shirts. It's $35, $40 for a t-shirt here for like a nine ounce t-shirt. So. All right. Well, I don't know what to do here. Let's go back to before we want to re re it up, I guess. I okay. Know. We're going to have to restart, guys. I am so, so sorry about that. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Go back to where he was before he did. Well, he was right in there from the beginning. Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. Restart. Ten dollars. Restart. Here we go. Restart. Ten dollars. Restart. Restart the auction. Bid fast. Bid quick. Here we go. Jingle me out. Ten dollars. I got ten now. Twelve. And I got twelve. Uh, jingle me out. You were in at ten first. You were ten first. You came in right before Batman. So I've got ten now. Twelve. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then I had 25, then 27. All right. 27 now, 29. Or how about let's just make it an even 30. 27 now, 30. All right. 29. 29 now, 31. 29 now, 31. Sorry, guys, we will go really fast. I know it's crazy. I've got 31 now, 34, or 33. 31 now, 33, 33, 31 now, 33. And I've got 40, 40 at Dennis Dew. 40 now, 42. 40 now, 42. 40 now, 42, 2, 2. 40 now, 42. If you're in it to win it, get it on in. Batman is out. I've got $40 bid to Dennis. I'm looking for 42. 40 now, 42, 2, 2, 40 now, 42. 
Batman says he is out. We're waiting on Jingle. We are waiting on Jingle now at 42. If she is Jingle meowing. Dennis was not out. It's Batman that's out. Dennis is in at 40. 40 now, 42. Dennis has been in here the whole way. He's just been hanging back, waiting to see what everybody's doing. 40 now. I've got $40 now, 42. And I've got 42, 42 now, 44, 42 now, 44, 44, 42 now, 44. Yeah, it was the UK. Yeah, 45 now, 45 now, 47, <laughs> 45 now, 47. And I will just, you know what I'll do? I'll just make sure that I um, put that in there. All right. And sold to Dennis at 45. Congratulations. Congrats, Dennis. All right. Well, he got both of the lots, so it doesn't matter then <laughs> uh, with the lot numbers then. Fine, All right. Congratulations, Dennis. All right. There we go. All right, everybody, we have, let me see. All right, that is, uh, we've got two, two uh, non-jewelry things left. This and the poker lot. All right, next thing we've got, you guys, we have a DVD lot here. We've got a massive DVD lot. Then we've got a poker lot, and then it's all on to the jewelry. So those of you hanging oh, out with us tonight. Oh, and the coin lot, that's right. Uh, DVD lot. Poker lot, coins. coins, and then it'll be on to the jewelry. So those of you that are hanging out for the jewelry, I know. Hold tight. We got three to go. All right. Here we go. We've got a DVD lot. We're going to start this off at $15. That basically covers the shipping because uh, you'll wait till you see how yeah, huge this, 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 this is. Email, you guys. There's so many of them here. I believe there's 40 of them, but we'll do a double count. Again, this came out of the last unit, and they're all in really great condition. Here's the first one here, Labyrinth. My sister loved that movie. K-19 with Mr. Harrison Ford. Courage Under Fire. Intermission. What else we got here? Half Past Dead. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That was a good movie. Team America World Police. No movie lots complete, Cam, unless you have Stallone. That's right. And Antonio Banderas. <laughs> All right. That's the Assassin's one here. Here's one. Le Levetti? 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 I wonder if it's got Billy Bob Thornton and Morgan Freeman. It's got to be good. I haven't seen that one before. Jeepers Creepers. That looks scary. Oh, what is about this classic? Caddyshack. That's a great film. A little plug to Chevy Chase. If you're not following him on Facebook, it's pretty darn funny. Yeah. He's awesome. I've got $15 of vintage memories. United 93. And yep. Mike's not even done yet. That Jeez. includes the slipcase. Um, oh, you can't just have one Chevy Chase film. you got to have well, how can vacation. You? How can you have this one Chevy Chase? Yeah. Come on now. Love that series. What? Here we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Cannonball Run, that's another great film. Burt Reynolds and Farrah Fawcett. Now this one's a different one. Um, this is the director's limited edition from Hell with Johnny Depp and Heather Graham. It's kind of got that adult double case thing going. So let's do this. Let's stack these piles here. Oh, we got Mel Gibson, We Were Soldiers. Flyboys Collector's Edition. It's in a slipcase there, which is nice. Um, this one here, I put it in a plastic wrap here. It has, um, it's supposed to be two discs. This is Uncensored Drawn Together Season 1, Comedy Central. Um, it's got the one case, but it's missing the second case. But the, it is complete. It's got both DVDs. 
it's just missing the one case there. So I threw that in there. Um, we've got 13 days with Kevin Costner. Hello, Kevin Costner. Siriana, George Clooney, Matt Damon, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Where is it? Is it Caribbean? We don't know. Look at all these guys. Holy cow. Gods and Generals, Jeff Daniels, and Robert Duvall as Robert E. Lee. It's a good film. Wild Things, Kevin Bacon, Matt Dillon. Uh, comedy here, we've got Mr. Will Ferrell, Robert Duvall, Kicking and Screaming. Um, we've got Snatcher. This is an awesome film with Brad Pitt. How about those sausages, Turkish? Turkish, how about those sausages? <laughs> Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, widescreen edition. There's more Harry Potters in here as well. Oh, that's a good film. Hamburger Hill. We got Jack and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Gone in 60 Seconds. Good old Eleanor. That was a good one. Wedding Crashers. Uncorked. Edition. Longer, Wilder, Funnier. Open Range. Mr. Robert Duvall and Kevin Costner. Uh, what else we got? American I'm Pie 2. I'm at fifteen dollars to Vintage Memories. Lots of great movies here. We've got Sean Connery, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Mm. That was a great one. Tom Cruise, The Last Samurai. That was a good movie too. This is a two movie box set, so it's a scary, scary movies, horror films. Twenty eight weeks later and twenty eight days later. That comes in a little slip case there. Um, we've got uh -huh. Loser. Oh, yeah. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> That's a great one. And Please. again, why does Tom Cruise not age? Yeah, I mean, look at Tom. A Few Good Men. We've got uh, SWAT with Samuel L. Jackson and Colin Farrell. Featuring LL Cool J. Dawn of the Dead, unrated director's cut. And this does include this, uh, the slipcase there. Um, here's another one with the slipcase. Will Smith, I, Robot. Uh, so, oh, here's a box set, looks like. Another Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible Special Collector's Edition, which is, I believe, the first one and the second one in here. Yep. That's got the little slipcase going on there. Uh, this is like a Tom Cruise marathon. Tom Cruise, War of the Worlds. And that's a slipcase as well, or a slipcase on that one. World Trade Center with Nick Cage. Another classic film, Stripes, Mr. Bill Murray. There was a documentary I watched on Bill Murray where, like, he just randomly appears at people's houses. Yeah, that Remember? was great, yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, he just came over and he was just doing dishes. Or he came over, he drank some wine with us, he left. That's pretty cool. I think it was on like Netflix or Amazon Prime or something. Oh, this is a heck of a movie right here. The Unforgiven. Man, love this film. With Eastwood, Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman. Oh, man. I'm going to kill everyone, last of you children and women. Oh, that's a film. All right, another Harry Potter. And The Prisoner of Azkaban. Two disc full screen edition. So we got two Harrys. Pearl Harbor. This has got that. Nice case there, double disc. All these are pretty much complete, guys. The ones I was looking through, they're all they have the inserts and everything in there. They're all in really great condition. Um, oh, jingle me out. Uh, vintage Memories was already in at 15. Knox Brothers is now at 25. Here's another Harry Potter full screen edition, and this is the Goblet of Fire. And then these go to Snatch. So I've got the thumb right here. They must have been like part of the deal with this special feature here. So I love that movie. Yeah, that's. I mean, you have to enjoy the humor, but I mean, it's oh, I love it. Oh, when they killed Brad Pitt's mom. Oh yeah. And he goes off. That's excellent. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and then the last one, guys, is uh, Robert Redford and Brad Pitt in Spy Game. So a total of there should be forty movies here. Let me just double check. Two. Brad Pitt's my secret crush. Well, it's not really a secret. 
Mike knows that if Brad Pitt shows up on the doorstep, that sorry, I'm gonna have to leave for a little bit. <laughs> I've got 38 uh, vintage more memories. More than, oh, Mike's counting. There's more than 40. Mike's still counting. There's 50. 50. 50 movies. All right, 50 total movies. We're at $45, including shipping. I've got $45 to Knox Brothers. I've got 50 total movies here. $45 to Knox Brothers, looking for 47. 45, now 47. For some holy movie heaven, if you are locked up at home, holy cow. 48, now and I've got 50. I got $50 bin now, 52. 50 now, 52. I've got 52 to Vintage Memories. 52 now, 54. 52 now, 54, 44. 52 now, 54. Two more items to go that are non-jewelry, and then we will move on to the jewelry portion. Those of you who are waiting for that, maybe you're hanging out in the background here saying, Kim, when's it going to be? Coming up soon. $52 bid now, 54. 52. There's so much we filled the screen. Look at this. Was Stripes in that lot? Yes, yep, yep. Stripes, right stripes is right there. That's true. Uh, All see. right, Vintage Memories is in at 52. Knox Brothers is out. I will call it any other interest. I'm at $52. We've got 50 movies total. This is including shipping. $52 bucket, to bucket film. buck a film. Even less when you count shipping yeah. in there, yeah. 52 to Vintage Memories. <laughs> Sold. Vintage Memories, it is yours at 52. Congratulations. Congrats, nice Congratulations. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give it. Take a second here to just put these away. All right. That's a lot of movies. That is a ton of movies. Holy Moses. I believe next week we are going to have uh, some more movies as well, potentially. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you are a movie buff, we are going to have some coming up uh, next week. All right. We've got two more lots, and then it's going to be jewelry time. And the rest of the time will be jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Like I said, we've got some great items coming up. Some very, very nice items for sure. Um, all right, so we have some uh, coins coming up, and we have poker. So we're going to do the poker stuff first. Let's see if there's interest in the poker stuff. We're going to start this off at $10 on the poker items. $10 opening on this. Here we go. All right. So Moving along. There's, there's two uh, different sets of poker chips. There's this one here, just in the, in the case itself, but they're all brand new and sealed. Um, I don't want to take them apart to see what kind of grams they are. I know that's important to some people, but they're kind of just like a... a but they're still clay. in that plastic. Yeah. They're not like the cheap plastic ones. It's kind of a heavier mm -hmm. clay type uh, material. That alone is probably a pound and a half, two pounds. Wow. So we're going to start the bid just what it would cost to go shipped. <laughs> so there's that one there. That is all complete. Then we've got this. If you've seen the video where we bought that storage unit... Um, I don't know the brand on this. Whoa. Those are actually kind of funky looking. Yeah, they're really neat. It just says PP there on all of them. Hmm. And I just, I'm not a big poker player. We'd like to be. We're trying to get yeah. something going out here in our local area. $10 to Dennis. Um, but let me weigh these in terms of grams. Because I know that's important when you're selling these. 11.8 grams. So these are 12 gram chips. So that's a heavier chip yeah. then, isn't it? Yeah, they're both nice and heavy. Yeah. Like they're great for poker. I just don't know the brand in this. And I can tell you what, these are probably expensive. But there's all different colors here. And I'm assuming they're all here. 
Um, but it's enough for the stack. Oh, professional players. Professional players, okay. Are those valuable? I don't know. Well, hold on, I will let you know. Heck, maybe the, maybe the, 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 what the pros use, huh? So I just Googled that real quick. PP, really? Yeah. So there's uh, four different colors of that. They're red, like a royal blue, orange, and a black. Uh, kind of all over the board yeah. here, so. And it comes with this little pouch here. I'm going all in. Uh, Lady Antiques, do they feel like the regular chips from a, like a casino chip? Yeah. Yes, they, they do. They yeah. Do. Yep. Yeah. They're not like that plastic stuff like you get at like the low end Walmart stuff. Yeah. No, they feel like the. Yeah. Here, yeah. Let's see if I can do this. You hear that? They feel like the casino chip. Yeah, they feel exactly like Because Mike, Mike loves playing at the tables, so. Yeah, they feel exactly like how they would be. And I believe there's, I could be wrong, I don't know. But I, if you typed in, like Google, what is the casinos use? It's probably a 12 grand chip, okay. right? Well, I can find out. I don't know. They feel like the professional, no doubt. Uh, ten Hi, Ian, I'm Hunter. $10 to Dennis Dew. Do I have any other interest in the poker chips? Otherwise, it's Dennis Dew at 10. Yeah, it feels at the same weight. I mean, you should play blackjack or roulette. It's kind of the same weight in the hand. That makes a difference. All right. Back to okay, the North American casino tips typically weigh around a 10 gram mark. So between eight and 10 and a half. So these are maybe a little bit heavier than that. Okay. So a little bit heavier. Lady Antique says, yeah, she did just look it up. They are professional player chips. So, yep, that's what it came up to. Nice. I am at uh, 12 to Archaic Engineer, and then I've got 15 to Dennis. I'm just going all in, Kim. Come on. You're all in? Yeah, no, no, no bust. All right. They are they are nice chips. Yeah, pro player for sure. Uh, $15 bid to Dennis Do I'm at 15 Do I have 17 Archaic Engineer, are you still in? I've got a $15 bid now, 17 Fifteen dollar bid now seventeen. No taco salads at Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. Right. Where were we at the other day where they limited the menu? Portillos. Portillos. We went to Portillos the other day. Wow. I got a fifteen dollar bid to Dennis Do. I got fifteen dollars going once. Fifteen dollar bid now going once. Archaic Engineer, if you're out, no problem. Just let me know that you are out, and we'll go ahead and sell it. Move on to the next item. Oh, and uh, he's not. He says, I am not out. I'm at 17. And then Dennis came right back at 20. I'm at 20 now, 22, 2, 2, 20 now, 22. I got a $20 bid now, 22. Yeah, if you ever sit next to me at a blackjack table, I'm always going like this. You're always, yes, you're always, always playing. Games. Seriously, they said it's discontinued. Wow. How many chips total? It is hard to say. Oh, and we this have is not. A complete set. I will count all these chips, guys, because I'm sure that's a big factor here. This, to me, they're all sealed, so I don't think it's missing any. All right, let me help you count in just in the interest of time. Plus 102, so 232. 232. All right, I've got Dennis at $20. Do I have any other interest? I see that Archaic Engineer is out. Any other interest? 
Otherwise, we are on. All right, 22 to Vintage Memories. 22 now, 24. 22 now, 24, 4, 4. 22 now, 24. I got $22 bid now of Vintage Memories. Are you ready? I'm ready. Sir, don't splash the pot. <laughs> You've been waiting all day for that, haven't you? Mike's Jones in to go to the casino, you guys. Well, we, let's, let's talk about dirt, our dirty little secret here. What we've been doing at night. <laughs> all right, I'll tell them our dirty little secret. We've been watching people who are recording slot machine play. Yeah, NG. N is in Nancy, G is in George. Yeah. MG slots. I, I can't stop watching it. I just don't know if they let you film out here. Okay. All right, I've got 25 to Dennis Dew. 25 now, 27 or more. 25 now, 27. $25 in now. And Vintage Memories is out to Dennis. I'm calling it then. Sold to you, sir. Sold to Dennis Dew. $25. Congratulations. Nice buy, Dennis. Nice buy, Dennis. These are nice chips. All right. One, look, one more lot before jewelry. It should be what the coin lot. Um, yeah, we've been enjoying that. Yeah, the MG slots. Yeah. What's, it, what's this uh, saying? Show me the power of the bonus yeah, or something. Show me the power of the bonus. And he does that. He's like... <laughs> Dennis, if you were closer, I would totally come play poker with you. I'm actually good at poker. I can actually play poker. I'm pretty good at you that. Were about that last time, we were talking about that. We were talking about that. Locally, a poker thing, but with social distancing. Yeah. Like outside. Because, I mean, obviously it's nice here, and so we could set up an outside poker table. It'd have to be at like 11 o'clock at night, but. <laughs> A lot of the Indian casinos let you film. I don't know. We'll have to see. Mike wants to find out because he is jonesing. I mean, I, I literally to jonesing to go to the boat. Well, we call it the boat. It's not a boat. Because, see, in Illinois, it was always on the river boat. Like, the El we lived out by Elgin and Aurora, for those of you that are uh, Illinois people. So, it was always the river boat. So, we just said, hey, do you want to go to the boat? boat. You never said the casino. You never, yeah, you never said the casino. It was just, do you want to go to the boat? And so, now, it's like the same thing. Hey, you want to go to the boat? Like, we don't... <laughs> <laughs> it's not on a river out here at all, you know. We can't just go to the boat. So um, it's hard to say, like, do you want to go to the casino? All right. This uh, is the last non-jewelry item of the night. Uh, after this, it's going to be – it's not in that bucket there, babe, no. that where you're at right now. Well, I'm looking for the smaller one. Like, I know. You, you know what? I think I have. I think I know what's up. All right. Um, so Mike's going to do the coin lot. The coin lot is up next. And again, for those of you who have been waiting for the jewelry, this is the last non-jewelry lot of the night. Everything from here will be jewelry. Those of you who are maybe listening in the background, uh, waiting for the jewelry, it's coming up right after this. So we have a coin slash uh, money lot. And we are going to start the bidding off on this one at a $10 opening bid. And I will go look for that. I think I know where it's at. Okay. The reason why is because some of these, I cannot tell what kind of coins these are. Um, so you're going to get, every, you're not going to get the case here. You're just going to get all the coins in here. Um, this first one here is a one ounce 999 fine copper coin here. Let's see, you got some panda bears on there. It almost looks like a gold coin. Uh, 2012 with some Chinese lettering on there. What's this? This is 10 cents, 1975. Obviously, it's an international one. I really can't read that. Here we have a Lois, what does it say? Lois and Clark return to Monticello nickel. Here's being uncirculated, maybe. 2006 Liberty nickel. There's a Lewis and Clark piece metal nickel. Take a look at that one. That's a 2004. Looks like it's all circulated. Yep, that's it. All right. Do the best. There. 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis Penny. So it looks like an uncirculated 1962 penny. 
1961, construction of the Berlin Wall begins. Uncirculated. At least it appears that way. 1981, what does this one say? 19, oh, 1981, Ronald Reagan elected the 40th president of the United States. We have here, this is a 1988, 1,000 Mexicanos. I had $10 to Pamela Lynn. Pamela Lynn. Now I'm at $12 to Vintage Memories. Here's some foreign money we have here. A hundred yuans, wands, 2005. Chinese dollar, one. Yeah. It's one of our bill. Okay, let's put that back here. What do we have here? It looks like some kind of United States $1 coin. Liberty Eisenhower, 1776 to 1976. $14 to Pamela. I think this is sealed in here, guys. It's going to be an uncirculated 1981 Liberty. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's really sealed. It's yeah, like $1, Pete. $1 coin here. Yeah. $0.10 cent U, uh, euros. Didn't Reagan get shot at more than once? John Twice. Belushi says 1981 Reagan got shot. Sure. I thought there was more than one time he got shot. What does this one say? Where you are total glaring on that one. Okay, that's not, there. That's better. Oh nope. There you go. Pesos. Two hundred pesos. Two, 2015. Susan B. Anthony. Mm-hmm. That other one. Okay. Now this is where this gets tricky, guys. Check these out. I mean. I, I don't know if these coins are $100 or $1, or, or I don't know what they are, to be honest with you. Oh, my gosh. It's old. These next, all these batch cards here are really old. 18? 15. Hmm? 16? I thought either says 1561 or 1661. Or 1861. Maybe 1861. Yeah, it's old. Look at this thing. I'm trying to kind of hold that still so you guys can see. I think that's. I think it's 1861. Is that Queen Victoria on there? Hold sure. on, I'm going to come close, guys. I think that's Queen Victoria. I think it's a British coin. All right, let I mean, me. Some of these coins feel like they're silver too. I don't know. I'm going to. I'm going to take a look here. Let me see. <laughs> it is Victoria. It's British, yeah. It, that's Queen Victoria on there. And what's the year? And it is 1861. Wow, 1861 coins. 1861, one cent. That's got worth some money, huh? Queen Victoria, 1861, one cent. Yep. Nice. All right, I might need your assistance here because okay. I'm not too sure. Um, what's this? All right, let me see if I can take a look. I don't think it's anything. Just some kind of religious coin, maybe? Mm, it is an angel. I don't know if it's a real currency. So it's, I don't know. I don't People think are, that really goes yeah, well. They can see what I um, So it's a picture of an angel. It does not have any date or anything on no it. No date, no marks on it or anything of that nature. All right, this next coin, it, it looks like Russian writing. It has scroll work and what appears to be Russian writing that says, I don't know what way this goes. It looks like 88.6 on there somehow. And there's a bull or a cow on the back. Let's see. There we go. See that where it looks like it's 88.6? Yeah. I don't know what this is. A good little mystery lot of coins. All right. This is one penny. It may, it's got, um, it looks pretty old. 19 something. I can't quite make it out. 19 something, an American penny. 19 something. 
Okay, this one, this is my response to my other question. Okay. I'm pretty sure that is the Russian symbol. Oh no, maybe it's one cent. Hold on. One cent. Oh no, it's American. That's the eagle. One cent, but I can't see a date on that one. So treasure 1966. Chest. What was it? Oh, it looks like a dime. Yeah, but it's not American. Yeah, I think it, no. I think it is. No, I think it is. That's just the Latin around it. It looks like an American dime. That's, okay. Is that Eisenhower's picture? Yeah, it does kind of look Eisenhower. This is Latin? Well, like on a lot of our hmm. stuff, it says like E. Pluribus Unum that uses Latin. All right, this is definitely an Asian, so either Japanese or Chinese writing. It's got the characters like a Japanese or Chinese writing, but I do not, I'm not familiar with the intricacies of that. This seems Arabic. Oh, I think India. India. I think it says on there. This also appears to have either Arabic or, I think Arabic. It looks Arabic to me. And this is a bigger coin, this one here. This almost feels like it's silver. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. 1910, this next one. Maybe not. Liberty, Eagle Eats. So it's in, it's got the Latin on it. This is 1910. What do you think this was? Italian? No, it says it says Liberty on there. I'm not sure. It says 1910. Okay, 1910. I see right there. And 50, so I'm not entirely sure. That's a, I can tell you right now. That's a silver piece. The last one says five on it, and it appears to have an American eagle on it but I can't really make out any more on there. Okay, so five cents, five right there. The Japanese coin was World War II, Bear Flag tells us. Nice. Bear Flag's good at that, so I, I trust Oh, him. wait a minute, that's a Nazi symbol down below there, isn't it? Oh, it does look like a swastika on there. It sure does. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so Very that fun. one might be Russian. No. German. Or German, I mean. And it's probably silver. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. See right there? There's a swastika. Yep, German. Older. Everyone's saying German, yeah. Yep, okay. I meant so, German. What's the date on the Liberty? <laughs> 24 total coins. Liberty? Thanks, Adam. Thanks for joining. It is night. It's the it's the centennial, right, centennial. So it's seventy six to nineteen seventy six. So that's the centennial. It's zinc. The German coin is zinc. Uh, yeah, Bear flag yeah. says. I'm at thirty four dollars to Pamela Lynn on this. Thirty four now thirty six. I've got thirty six to three pistols. Thirty six now thirty eight. Thirty-six now, thirty-eight, eighty-eight. Thirty-six now, thirty-eight. Last one, sir. Last one. The last coin. Last coin. What is that? You want to say last coin? I guess that's jingle meow. Is that what you, Matt? I mean, we know that it—that's the German one. It's got the swastika on it. Yeah. Let's see if I do this. So let's make it better. Uh, right there, maybe a little bit. 38 to Pamela Lynn, 38 now 40. 38 now 40. 
38 to Pamela, $38 bid now, 40. $38 bid now, 40. I'm at 38 to Pamela Lynn on all these coins. 38 now, 40. Jingle Meow is out. I'm going to say go on once to Pamela Lynn at $38. I'm not sure if Three Pistols is still in there. Um, as I was helping Mike, there were quite a few people that were in. Bear Fleck had said they were out. Um, Three Pistols is in at $40. $40 bid now, $42. $40 now, $42. $42. $40 now, $42. Those of you hanging out for jewelry, hold tight now because we are coming up with the jewelry of the whole. The jewelry. Train the jewelry. Is the jewelry train is pulling in after this lot here. $42 bid to Pamela now, 44. 42 now, 44, 44, 42 now, 44. Hold on, jewelry people. You will be getting an eye full this evening, no doubt about that. I'm going to say uh, going twice. Oh, really, Amber? Amber is on the lookout for an original Nintendo. Really? <laughs> Am you have no idea. Girlfriend, we can probably help you out with that. Yeah. All right, I'm calling it then. Sold. Pamela Lynn, sold to you at $42. Congratulations. Nice buy, Pamela. Thank you. Panda's like, the panda coin's so cool. <laughs> Congratulations, Bye. Pamela. Great yeah. buy. Let's start with this, the jewelry piece here. This one that. Um, All right, give me just a second yeah. to write this down while you're bringing that up. Yeah. Make sure I get that. that. That is Pamela's. Congratulations. All right. And now it is the moment you have all been waiting for. Okay. Those of you hanging out in there. Okay. All right, let me put that one side there because that one's off that one, I think. Okay. I'll take a look at that one. Right. We'll just take let's, that one off do, for tonight. Yeah, let's do one side. Okay. I'm going to have you help me with this because you're a pro. All right, no problem. All right, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The jewelry train is coming in. <laughs> so if you're hanging out, if you're listening in the background, I know there's a few other auctions going on tonight. So those of you who are kind of going between auctions, kind of waiting, here it comes. Here comes the jewelry train. I know Jonathan is sometimes kind of in different places, so he's been kind of in and out. So here we go. We have it coming. What number do you have for me, dear? This one is one... Seven zero. All right. We are starting out with lot number. Please, when you win these ones, um, let me know what lot number it is when you pay. Lot number 170. It just helps. Even though I'm writing it down, it just helps. We're going to start us off at a $10 opening bid. I'll just show these here. I could do like the rings and everything. All right, I'm going to come on over here and I'm going to start going because. Come on over, come on over, baby. Here we go. <laughs> we have kind of a mixture on this first lot. And I will get you measurements on everything. Let me go through it first and then I'll give you measurements on each of these items, guys, okay? So, right here, we have some melon beads, liquid silver. This has a little bit of age to this one. You've got some beautiful beading on this bracelet. Have a tight heart right there. And then there's um, some sort of green stone. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but you've got kind of a green and a blue-ish stone here. And then it comes up. This one is not a barrel clasp. It's the kind that you have to um, pinch in and pull. Pull that out. So 
the bracelet on this one. Let me pull out the measure here. This is seven, seven inches on the bracelet. So you got the nice uh, melon beads here into the liquid silver. Silver prices did go up today, Mike and I noticed, because we do follow those trends for sure. All right, so clasp that one back. So there's the bracelet on that one. We have a beautiful barrel clasp, liquid silver, some melon beads, and then I am not entirely sure what the stone is on this, but it's a beautiful blue, and it seems to be coming through nicely on here, these beautiful blue, right into the arrowhead shape. I'm not entirely sure what the stone is on that one. Measurement on this one, right about almost 19 and a half. Almost 19 and a half inches on that one. This one has some small beading on it of a variety of colors. These are, this is one bead. Even though it's striped, it is one bead. We've got the liquid silver up into the barrel clasp on that one. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's like mother of pearl or almost maybe abalone. You've got a beautiful butterfly. And I know the camera doesn't show the glittery um, shimmeriness of it, but it does shine. This one has um, twisted liquid silver beading up into the barrel clasp. And I'll get you measurements on those ones, you guys. And then this last one is just a beautiful flat liquid silver barrel clasp and just very simple beadwork at the bottom. So this one is uh, 18 inches on this one. The last one that I just showed you, that one's an 18 inch. The beautiful butterfly here, a little bit shorter. That one is about 14 and three quarters. And the striped bead one is about 14. And you guys know how I like to layer my jewelry. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how I would layer some of these. So I would personally layer these two together. I think it just adds a little bit of something there to that. And this one I would actually layer with this one. The bracelet can go with any of them, really. And you could really, if you wanted to, you could put all three of these to get some different levels going on there as well. And you could do the same thing with this one too. So the butterfly? Yep. So this one's a little bit shorter. And then this one is, this one falls just a little bit longer. So you can put it together like that as well. And have kind of a nice little mixture going on there.
So you're getting all of these pieces, one money shift. I am at, as I come in, I am looking at $20. And 24. I've got $24 right now. I was not watching the chat. I'm sorry. That's okay, Pamela. No problem. I know what you want, so you're okay. I'm at $24 to Mike Newsome. 24 now, 26. 24 now, 26. You want to stand up, didn't you? That's kind of what I was going for, but that's okay. That's all right. It can be like that. That's fine. I'm going to say going once to Mike Newsom at $24. Lots of jewelry coming up. All the rest of the last tonight are going to be jewelry. We've got, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We have some beautiful pieces coming up, more beautiful pieces coming up as well. I'm going to say going twice. And, oh, I missed that. Okay, Terry's out. So I'm going to call it sold to Mike Newsom at $24. Congratulations. Nice bye, Mike. All right, Congrats. Mike. Mike, starting off the jewelry tonight, you said 170, right? Yep. Okay. 170. Mike uh, Newsom, lot number 170. If you would please put that in there for me, I would appreciate that. 170. Let's do. Uh... What was 234? <laughs> All right. What the stone was? For which one? 234. 234. Peridot? Let me see if I wrote that down. It is Peridot. Good job, Mike. Hey, I'm learning something. <laughs> All right. Let's do a sterling silver ring. It's the, the uh, this is going to be lot number 234. It is sterling silver and Peridot. And we'll get you the um, size on that right away so what's the size on that All first right, so size six size six and it's got a nice little pair of stone inside there it's got we, we keep the tarnish on the silver so you can clean this thing up and really pop if that's your thing size six really simple but pretty ring it makes a difference with the light we're going to open this one off at ten dollars Not really. Not really. Let's get a weight to it. It's two uh, grams. And it is sterling tested silver. sterling. <laughs> Barry's $10 opening on this. Cute little Peridot and Sterling. Looks vintage to me. Mm -hmm. It's some age to it. I've got a $10 bid. Do I have 12? Any other interest in this? $10 bid, now 12. Silver prices are jumping up. Silver was at 23 earlier. Yeah. They're saying maybe this could be the year to break out of silver. Wouldn't that be pretty crazy? That would be. And here we've sold all of ours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say going once at $10 on this little ring. Cute little Peridot stone in there.
Going twice. All right, Terry, I'm calling it sold to you. Ten dollars. Congratulations. Nice buy, Terry. Congrats. Thank you. All righty. That uh, two items down, a lot more to go. All right, let's see what else we can do. That was uh, $234. these drinks. This is 266. 266. All right. We're kind of all over the board out of order a little bit, guys. So, all right. We have some, oh, we have these beautiful earrings. Oh my gosh. Wow. These are really, really awesome. Okay. They are sterling silver and turquoise earrings. They are in the shape of a snake. They are pretty darn awesome. And we're going to start this bidding off at $10. Check out those beautiful pieces of turquoise in there. Yeah, you got these small little turquoise cabochons. And then you got a nice turquoise inlay for the eyes of the snake. These are fantastic. These are native and vintage. Let's see if they marked it in the right Let's see. Not marked. Uh, sterling silver with some turquoise with stones inside there. Yeah, they just got that, that whole Southwest look. Oh, out. absolutely. They are the perfect Southwest looking earrings. I'm at $12 to Amber, 12 now 14. Let's just get a measurement on them. About an inch. Yeah, just roughly under an inch. Yeah, look, look at the craftsmanship on the snake. All the fine detail on it. This took some time to make, no doubt. It's a rattlesnake, for sure. I've got twelve dollars to Amber. How about fourteen? Twelve dollars now. Fourteen, fourteen. Twelve dollars now. Fourteen. The dogs are behaving today. It's because I gave them a treat. They're still working on their treat. They were getting a little restless. Okay, I'm gonna see going once to Amber at twelve dollars. That's a super screaming deal. <laughs> Some wheels, deals, and steals tonight, guys and girls. I know there are people that jumped off when we went right to the jewelry, but. All right, Jingle Meow is at 14. Sorry, I didn't see that. It did not pop up to me. Sorry about that. Yeah, I like the inlay work in the eyes. Mm-hmm. And buyer's resale is out, so I'm going to call it sold to Jingle Meow at $14. Super deal. Wow, wow. yeah. Nice buy. Holy cow. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Mike, we have like this big uh, bucket. All right, we have an earring lot. Um, there are several different pieces in here, so Mike's kind of laying them out. We will start the bidding off on these at five dollars. I don't know if you're going to be able to fit all those on there, are you? Uh, I'm going to try. All right, let's find out. So there's um, a lot of costume jewelry, all earrings, I believe. 
Got a silver and a gold tone, kind of larger hoop style. Earrings, first one here. These are kind of loose. I'm not sure what kind of stone this is. It's almost like like glass. Hmm. Maybe just simple glass. Earrings. These I did not test these for silver. I don't think they are. It's a really like minimalistic look on those silver twin ones. We got some snowman. Well, those are cute. Yeah. Got some bling bling going on here. Oh, these are little. Look how cute these are. Oh, little ladybugs. Yeah, those are neat. Gold tone there. Those are, those are cute. Then these are clip-on earrings. Just some really simple clip-on earrings. I did not test these for sterling at all. Um, I'm not 100% that they are, so I'm just going to we'll sell them as just silver tone. But just really simple, modern, definitely vintage clip-on earrings. Um, these... Maybe you can create your own earrings with these because there's no posts or anything on these. Hmm. Um, not sure what the stone is on that. Amber? It looks a little amber like. Mm -hmm. There's two of them here. It's definitely got that feel to it. And they've got the, see how they got the top there, the holes? Mm -hmm. so you can probably easily make. Yeah, earrings. Joanne Fabrics or Michaels or anywhere like that. Maybe you could do that. It, or you can make a necklace with it. Um, here we got some, some danglers, some little hoops. Press steel. Oh, it looks like you put on hoops. Oh, okay. Mm. Hmm. And then here, what are these? Looks like a little chandelier type. Uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. So let's see, we got a total of two, four, six, ten earrings. All right, total of 10 earrings. Do I have any interest in this at $5? <coughs> Excuse me. The humidity is killing me today. Yeah. $5 opening bid. Do we have any interest in this at $5? Otherwise, we'll go ahead and pass and move on to the next item. You get ladybugs, you get frosted the snowman. Amber says she'd be in at five bucks. Five dollars. All right. Five dollars. I see Amber in at five bucks. Do I see any other interest? I'll put it out there, give it a second in case there's a delay. Otherwise, they'll be yours. So let's, we'll give it just a minute. Ten total earrings. So definitely some vintage pieces in there. All right, Amber, I'm calling it sold to you at five bucks. Congratulations. Great buy, Amber. Thank you. All right. I'm calling it yours. Can't beat that. Ten earrings for five bucks. Mm -hmm. I love it. Was that 216, did you say? This is, yep, 216. Okay. Amber, lot number 216. All right. Yeah, we can do that one. What number is that one? This one is 157. All right, lot number 157 coming up. I'll show this one to you. Lot number 157. We'll start it out at a $10 opening bid on this one. These are pretty. Mm hmm. Oops. I accidentally, I accidentally removed you instead of hitting full screen. All right, guys, we have, yeah, we have turquoise and silver going on here. Lovely collection of turquoise colored. Not all of it, uh, you can see as some of it dyed. It's just the beads is the turquoise color, but it's very pretty. You can definitely stack these up. 
Some of these are a little bit older than others. All right, so let me show you what you've got. Can you open that uh, measuring tape? All right, so I'm going to start you off with this one right here. We have a beautiful piece right here. These are very old melon beads right here. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got some little, uh, these decorative beads are quite intricate. Little hematite hearts. That hearts pretty. And you're really not able to see the sparkle as well it is, as it is. You've got some beading, turquoise colored beading work around here. Flat liquid silver into a barrel clasp. How much of that one? The next one, this is definitely a vintage piece. Uh, you can really tell from the beading work on it in between. The last one was 19 inches. Okay, so the heart one is 19. This has twisted liquid silver right here, and then it goes into flat liquid silver into the barrel class which is very typical of the jewelry up here. <laughs> Michael measured that one for us. The next one we have has the older style lobster clasp, flat liquid silver with beading, small melon beads, and smaller beads in between. Again, the same exact style uh, beading right here. These are all, this is not one piece, these are all individual beads in between right here, in between. Yeah, this one here is just past 19 inches. Okay. And then the final piece is a matching neck, uh, bracelet, excuse me. You've got a dark blue beading here. You've got the individual uh, pieces right there. Into the beads, flat liquid silver into a barrel clasp on that one as well. This one was 17 inches. That seems a little bit smaller than a seven, but it might be. Sometimes we're off. Well, six and a half. Yeah, six and a half inches. All right. The bracelet. So the bracelet's a six and a half. So you are getting all of these pieces. I'm at $18 to Terry. $18 to Terry. I'm looking for 20. 18 element now 20. Dennis says they are beautiful. They really are yeah, beautiful pretty. pieces. Uh bear flag is out. Mike is at 20. 20 now 22. 20 now 22 to 20 now 22. 20 now 22. What, three necklaces and one, one bracelet? Yep, three necklaces, one bracelet. So you are four total pieces, five bucks a piece shipped is where you're at on this. 20 now, 22, 2, 2, 20 now, 22. I've got Mike Newsom at 20. I will say going once. Twenty four to Jonathan, six and a half, Terry. Twenty four now, twenty six. And I've got thirty. Thirty now, thirty two. Thirty now, thirty two, 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 thirty now, thirty two.
Some of just the turquoise and the silver that makes it pop. Uh huh. Absolutely. I've got thirty dollars to Jonathan. Thirty now. Thirty-two. I'm going to say going twice. Jonathan popped in right in time to the end. He's coming in. He's like, oh, don't worry, folks. I'm hanging out there in the background. Mike Newsom is out. Terry, were you in or were you out on this one? I've got $30 to Jonathan. Ah, <laughs> Spidey Sense was going off. All right, Jonathan, sold to you. $30. Congratulations, sir. Nice buy, Jonathan. Thank you. We have the most amazing ring next. What number was that one? This one is 275. Mm-mm. Huh? You wanted that one? No, what was the necklaces? Oh, the necklaces? Yeah. The necklaces are 157. 150, what, number 157. Yeah. No, that can't be right either. Hold on, guys. Sorry. 157. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. Jonathan, that's lot number 157. 157. All right, we have a gorgeous ring coming up. Now, this is this is lot number 275. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Jonathan, you were 157 on that last one. Guys, we're going to start this ring off at a $20 bid. This is absolutely <laughs> stunning. Wait till you see it. What's the ring size so I can pop that in there? It's uh, size 5. Check this out. Yeah, this is this is a gorgeous piece of uh, native sterling with some turquoise in there. It's got some really amazing spider webbing inside of it. Exposing a little bit of that host rock. Kind of got like a, what do you call it? Like the like a pearl type small beading around it? Yeah, the beading, oh. I mean, it's just the, it's little, little silver balls. This is sterling silver. It is sterling. A size five. I'll pull it off here in a second here to show you. Just trying to get that turquoise to sit nice. The matrix in there is just beautiful. That host rock is just so nice to see yeah. in there. And this is a uh, this is definitely a vintage piece. Let's see if I can get that focus. Definitely handmade. You can see. Mm hmm. In the details of all that, where you can tell it's not machined or you know, somebody actually made this by hand. And I don't believe this has any markings on it. Well, let's see, it didn't really pick it off. Let's take a look at it a little closer. There's no hallmarks or anything of that nature on this ring, but definitely sterling silver. Looking at a $20 opening bid. Do I have interest in this at a $20 opening bid? Let's see if I shine the light on it. Because sometimes that happens. Let me see. It gets rid of the shadow. There's a shadow sometimes. Let's see if I can put it on my finger. Maybe that'll help. Okay, this is a great pinky ring. If you say you have fat fingers, this is a great pinky ring right there. Come up closer. There you go. I can still move my finger nicely. Yeah, the, the turquoise, the blue on it's really vivid. What, what it looks like from a hand, like on a hand. You yeah. Know, like. Oh, there you go. That's pretty. And that fit my pinky pretty perfectly, actually. I have I have kind of short stubby fingers too. Mm -hmm. It's a size five. And there's no cracks on that stone at all. Mm -hmm. That's it's just the mother down. rock it's in there. The, it's all the mother rock and the, the veining inside. A lot of times when you look at like 
the turquoise pieces, even just like looking at them online or whatever, you, and then you get them, you're like, oh my gosh, it's cracked. This is, there's no cracks at all in that. That's just naturally how it is. Mm -hmm. Jingo Meow's in at 10. Well, we were starting at 20, were we? Yeah, we were starting at 20 on this. So we're going to. No we'll mm -hmm. Yep, we'll we pass. Do. Yep, we were at 20 on this. No interest in this one? We will have to pass then on this. All right. Unless Jingle Meow, you're in at 20, but that was our opening bid on that. We are missing Gary. Yep, yeah, we sure are. Yeah, what's neat about this piece too, it's, it's a flatter piece versus like a, okay. a little mini boulder on there, you know? All right, let's go ahead and pass then on this one. Okay. That was 275, that right? Was 275, yeah. Okay. Now, the other ring that we have there. Let's do this first. I was going to say, let's do that, that one because that is unisex. Right? That's a men's or a women's ring. Yeah, this is 276. Yep. All right, 276. Let's see. The size on this. One is it's a five and a half. So, so these are just small. That's mm -hmm. all right. Here it's definitely vintage, native made. There's no stamping or any marks on this one. And you know, a lot of times you can look at these rings. A lot of the newer rings, and even the ones that are like coming from different areas, they they'll expose the rock under the ring. Right. So right. it's all sterling under these these rings, and that's desirable for a lot of people, no doubt. Um, let's get the stone over here so you can take a look at that. It's got some nice different colors on here, guys. You see the deeper green, then it's got a little bit of blue in that. They're going to have to talk louder. People can't hear it. They can't hear it? No. That's a, people are saying they're having hearing problems. Oh. So you have to talk louder. But as you can see from here, it's all the, you can see the different veining, the different blues, the greens. I can't take less than 20 because that's what I paid for it. I'm going to be honest. It's, it's got nice rope around there. Yeah, these rings, I mean, if you, try to find these rings. If you even go on eBay, and if you could pick up a sterling or a turquoise ring for less than $30, that's a, that's a bargain. I, I, mean, pulled, even out here, I pulled these from a private collection. Yeah, I mean, even so even I out can. here where this is like the mecca for sterling and turquoise, you know, it's if we could get them to where we can say, all right, you know, who we're getting them from and start them at $5, I'll let them rip, you know, but a lot of these are consignment type rings, you know, we're getting them from different people. And the, a lot of times the bids are just to get the break even point. Yeah. <laughs> It is worth more than the starting price. You're absolutely right. I just and yeah, I get for like people that those are very tiny um, oh, yeah. sizes, but yeah, I can't. I can't do it. I can't go less than what I paid for. I can't lose money, guys. Let's, let's I actually this paid more than twenty bucks. I paid thirty five dollars for that ring, so I'm not gonna go. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, not everything sells. Let's do. Is this one fifty nine? Yeah. All right, I'll let you. Gonna bang this one out here. You could be their arranger, Kim. All right. Next lot I have up, I have uh, some liquid silver into a barrel clasp. We have a small. These are turquoise colored beads. This is not turquoise itself. But you are getting five piece, uh, actually six pieces on in this lot. We're going to open this up at ten dollars. Opening bid on this. So here is one. This one is uh, twisted. You can see that it's the twisted liquid silver. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's not. It is flat. My my bad. Sorry about that. It is a flat liquid silver into a barrel clasp and you have just some nice turquoise colored round beads there and i'll get you sizes on these 
beautiful flat liquid silver with a barrel clasp. These ones are squares. You've got the beads that are squared shaped. This one's really neat. Barrel clasp, flat liquid silver. You've got kind of some multicolored beads into a feather. Turquoise colored feather there. Now the, the feather is not uh, real turquoise. It does not feel like real turquoise to me. But it is the turquoise color. This has the flat liquid silver, but it's gold tone, so it's gold overlay with a barrel clasp. The turquoise beading. And then the final one has a nice rose colored bear fetish. So you've got kind of these rose colored beads and I'm not sure. It seems like a rose colored quartz on there um, with flat liquid silver. And then it has a lobster clasp on that one. Little turquoise pieces to go with it. And then again with the bear, uh, the bear fetish on there. So you're getting six total pieces for the money. Let me get you some different prices here. Not prices, I meant sizes. <laughs> All right, let me see. So the bear fetish, seven inches on the bear fetish uh, bracelet. The one with the gold overlay, the bracelet with the gold overlay, also at uh, seven. The necklace that has the feather. Eighteen. This is falling on me here. Falling over on me, it's gonna fall off the table. All right. That one, my fingers don't wanna move, so let me do this one. This one with the beading like that. 16. Maybe 16 and a quarter. The one with the squares. The liquid silver on this one's so fine. It's a nice feeling. This one is 16. So you can imagine starting to layer these together, how those would look. Can you get this one apart? I'm, my fingers are having a hard time getting that one apart. Yeah, it's got a twist. I know, my, I, I don't know, my fingers tonight were having an issue. All right, and this one is maybe 16 and three quarters, just shy of 17. So let me show you how all of these look. I love that layered look. If you've been watching a long time, you know. I love that layered, yeah, that layered look. Oops, and of course there go my bracelets. But I like putting them together. So let's go ahead and see where we're at in the chat. So I'm at a $10 opening bid on 
on this. No interest in this. I, I'm trying to go back here. I'm seeing a lot of talking going on. So hold on here. Terry says she'll be in at 10. Let's get her sold then. All right, then. I see no other interest. So that's a, that's a steal. Sold on that to Terry at $10. Congratulations. Hey, bye, Terry. What number was that one? Uh, 159. 159. Oh, oops. Okay, buyer's resale came in at 12 before I put sold. Okay, so we're going now. Back. Like twenty things just came up, so it was lagging. I guess we're having a lag because all of a sudden there was like no, no. I saw nothing for like. Okay, so buyers resale was in at twelve. Hold on, Terry. Buyers resale was in at twelve before the sold came in. Are you at fourteen? Buyers came in before I hit sold. Okay. Yep. So 14. And then buyer says Terry can have it. Okay. So Terry sold at 14 then. Smacking the hammer. Okay. Smacking the hammer. Sold at 14 then. Okay. That was my bad. I did not see that. I did not see. That. All right. Let's do this lot of it's number 269. These are all nice sterling earrings with some gemstones on there. Hold on, I keep forgetting that lot number. <laughs> one five nine. I don't know why I can't remember that. Kim, it's one five nine. It's one five nine. Lot number one five nine, Terry. I don't know why I can't remember that. All right, and this one is two. Six nine. Say I'm, it with me. I'm gonna forget it. <laughs> Two, I've six, got so nine. Many stupid numbers sitting here. Okay, so this is the lot of sterling earrings, yep. right? All right, so ten dollar opening bid on this one. All right, these are some nice uh sterling silver. I'm not a hundred percent sure what these little crystals are. They feel like they're glass. Maybe the onyx? That's what they could be. Not sure. So there's one here. There's a total of five. Check these out. These are like that. They got that whole like mid-century look to them, it looks like. It's really simple and like modern. Really basic. Little squares. These are all sterling there. And these are post earrings. I think these are really pretty. Check these out. But, you got, each one's got three stones. There's one on the very top. And it's kind of got like a purple hint to it. I'm not a thousand percent sure what those are. And then they kind of just dangle down. Uh, we got some more dangles here. These are really, really pretty. Almost like a, a ruby type color. Let's see if I can get that to, to go so you can get some color out of it. Lighting in the house is pretty crazy. There we go. Almost like a maroonish red. All sterling there, They're post backs. And I, I think these are the uh, the home run of the bunch. Check these. 
They have little silver lined beads inside that dangle down. They're just really, really pretty. And look at the green on that. So a total of five earrings, all sterling silver with multiple gemstones on these. You got the ones that are kind of that modern look. You've got the onyx ones here. I believe that's what that is. These ones here, these are kind of like little, little snowflakes or something. It kind of just drops down like that. I don't know if there's probably a terminology for it. <laughs> so I think Kim said uh, $10. Let's go over and see what's going on on YouTube land. <clears throat> if there's any interest in these five sterling earrings for $10. Uh, okay, so Terry says no, Onyx doesn't look like glass, maybe crystal. Australia Crystal on the red one. Necklace of Stone. We've got Buyer's Resell 12. Uh, Terry's at 14. Buyer's Resell comes back at 16. Terry's at 18. So if we're looking for $20, we're at 18 with Terry on five sterling silver earrings. Appreciate all of you guys coming out here and hanging with us tonight. It's always a treat to do these little live auctions and uh, shoot the stuff with you guys. We can. Appreciate that so much. Buyer's resale is out. So we're at Terry, $18 for five pairs of sterling earrings. Great, great buy here. Any interest, they're going to say going once. Anybody wants to pop in. Going once on five sterling earrings for 18 looking for 20. How do you do that, Ken? We got 18 looking for 20, 20, 20, 20. There you go. <laughs> we got 20 from Jingle Meow. Jingle you know Meow came in at 20. We're looking for 22. Five pairs of earrings. That's like $4.25 a, a earring, a pair. That's a good buy. Sterling silver. Harry's in at 22. We're looking for 24. We got 22. Looking for 24. 24, 24, 24. Give me some more. <laughs> 24, 24. We're sitting at 22 with Terry. We're going to say going twice. Any other interest? Pookie wants these earrings, right, Pookie? <laughs> Pookie wants earrings. You know, Meow is out. We're going twice. I think any other interest? Let's just hit final call on these. Stir oh, you want a bid? Did your bid count? Where did the go? Pookie wants these earrings. All right, we're going to sell these earrings to Terry. $22. Sold to Terry. Congrats, Terry. Bam. Sold. Thank you. Let's put these away. What do you got? Uh, All right. Next item up for bid. Um, what was the lot number on the earrings? I got it. 219. Okay. 219. I'll put those away if you want. There we go. All right. Those here. All right. Let's pull out the next lot. We have some liquid silver. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous lot. We're gonna start the bidding off at ten dollars. Yeah, they might have to go potty. All right, check this one out. Absolutely stunning. It's got the dream catcher with the feather. And in the middle, check out that stone. You can see how it has um, just that little glow in it. So you've got the melon beads here. Twisted liquid silver here, flat liquid silver up to the barrel clasp. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. The next one then, this kind of goes with that. It's got the liquid, uh, twisted liquid silver on that one into a barrel clasp. You've got those uh, shimmering sort of beads here, and just look how this lays together. Because you know how I like to layer my pieces. So you can layer those nicely. Beautiful pieces there. The next one then, check this. Check out this butterfly. You have flat liquid silver. Melon beads. This is definitely an older 
piece. You can tell by the beadwork there. You've got the hearts that also make that shimmery look into the butterfly there. You've got the shimmering beads, same sort of color scheme there. The melon beads there, those vintage ones. And the last necklace on this one, you have the flat liquid silver with the barrel clasp into some hematite and turquoise colored beading right there. Which if you layer it, if I can get it on my thing here, my little pin, Look at how beautifully those go together. I'll lay it on my pin a little nicer. And you can interchange. This one also goes nicely because you've got the beadwork in there. So you can wear it with this one. Kita outside. And then since this one does have the blue in it, you could also put the blue with this one and add just a little bit of sparkle, extra sparkle on there as well. So you are getting all four of these gorgeous pieces. This is one of my favorite favorite groupings. So you're getting all four of those gorgeous pieces. And if you're looking for some measurements here on the, uh, what's it called? Oh, dream catcher. That's what I'm thinking. 19 inches on the dream catcher. On the blue beading with the twisted liquid silver, you're at about 19 as well. So you're kind of right about there. Those two are about the same size. The hematite. About 18 on that one. And the butterfly. 20 inches on the butterfly. Ah, my fingers do not want to seem to want to put that together. There we go. All right. So you're getting all four of those pieces. I'll let you show that. I'm going to look at the comments here. I'm at 26 to make new sum at the moment. Yeah, all three are pretty, but all four of them are pretty by themselves, honestly. Yeah, they're stunning. I am at 26 to Mike Newsome. And we don't have many more of these styles left, to be honest. This might be the last batch that we probably have here. Yeah, what we're doing tonight, I think, is the end. I don't think I have any more with the liquid silver. I'm at 26 to Mike Newsome. I'm going to say, go on once. Go on once on that. So Mike Newsome, Jonathan is out. I had Amber in for a little bit here. Amber, are you out as well? Kita. Kita will not leave Pookie. Come here, Kita. Did, did you meet your whole tree already? Go in twice. So my new son at $26. Come here. Put your toy. Twenty-eight. I got 
I'm at $28 bid with Amber. Look at 30. Mike Newsom's at 30. Mike's at 30. $30 bid now, 32. 30 now, 32, 32, 30 now, 32. 30 now, 32. Now we have a wild dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now we're getting wild over here. 30 now, 32. And she's out. Sold. Mike Newsom, $30. Congratulations. Nice bye, Mike. Thank you. Those are so pretty. What yeah. was that one? This is the, what do we have? What do we have? Keep it down. 171. 171, Mike. 171 on that one. You should slide that chair over there so people can see how this dog's sitting on this chair. <laughs> you guys want to see how the dog, look at this dog. She's sitting on the chair. <laughs> see all her junk in the back? You can see all her junk in the back. But she's sitting on the chair like a human. I don't understand. I just want to be at the table too, I Mom. Just, I just want to, I just want to play too, Mom. Let me play too. <laughs> let's, let's do this one. You Number 235, it's another ring. All right. Silver and Onyx. It's a size 8. All Check right. this one out. This one is a size 8. We will start this off at $5. So there's Onyx with the Sterling, and then there's little Cubic Zirconians. Kind of give it a, a little bit of shine to it. We did check for diamond. It is not diamond. Yeah. It's a really simple ring, but it's it's got some nice action to it. You know what I mean? Like when yeah. you, you got it in your hand, it's I know the camera's not doing any justice at all with this. But it is Mark Sterling. Again, it's size eight. And it's marked what was the marking on this one? It's got a hallmark on it, I believe. There it is. All right, so it says E S P O and then Sterling. Let's see if I can get that to. It's right. We can see that there's yeah, marking, but we can't read it. Let's just get some weight to this here. One point nine grams of sterling silver. So, I mean, I think a man can wear that. Good. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe unisex type of ring. You can see right there how it kind of glistens back and forth. And again, we leave the patina on there. It's up to you if you'd like to shine it up or if you like the patina. <coughs> Nine to Terry, looking for 11. So Mike showed you what it looked like on a man's hand. I'll show you what it looks like from the other. On a woman's hand? On a hand? woman's A woman. Hand. It's real simple and modern. It's a very simple, mm -hmm, clean, simple ring. Will, will you marry me? Yes, I will. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have to. Uh, what what I choice must, do I, I have? must, whatever. So and it goes. You can see that it goes all the way around. The, um, it's not like there's just nothing on the other side. The band goes all. It goes. Ooh, where's the camera? There it is. Goes all the way around the band. Yeah, no missing pieces or anything of that nature on there. It's pretty solid. Okay, uh, we have bids, we have out. So sold, buyers resell, sold Amber for eleven dollars. Congratulations! Great buy, Amber. That is a good one. All Excellent right. buy. Thank you. All right, what do we have next on the list? What is next on the list? I don't know. I got lots of things on the list. All right, let's do 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 do, do, do two seventy. All right, some sterling earrings. Starting this one off at ten dollars. These are sterling silver earrings. All right, so there's a mixture of sterling um, earrings back here. 
We've got there's some old ones here, guys. Check these out. What would you call these, Kim? Are they little fish? I'm not a they look like birds. Birds? They are older screw back earrings. Definitely vintage. Got the patina on them still. You think birds? They look like birds to me. Almost like a little heart in between those. See that? Oh, maybe they are. Or maybe little fish? No, they're definitely birds. <laughs> or a porcupine. Not too sure what they are. We've got a pair of these. These are clip-ons. These are cubic zirconian with sterling on them. Real, like, simple, modern look to them. Then we have these. These are kind of like a southwest type of screw-back earrings. These have these definitely got some age to them. Like beta, the beta fish, they do kind of. Where are you some fish? <laughs> no, we're, we're back to the other one. Oh, back to those? Oh, yeah, they do look like betas. Kind of, yeah. What do these look yeah. like? Swans. Swans? Turn it the other way. No. Oh, okay, like that looks like a swan. Yeah. That looks like oh, a swan. Yeah. They look like swans to me. Yeah, they kind of look like swans. What about you? Was it a Billy Madison movie? Swan. Swan. <laughs> Stop looking at me, Swan. Stop looking at me, Swan. Oh, jeez. $12 to Amber. Oh, and of course. There we go. All right. And then we have these. These are hot silver, sterling silver earrings here. They're brand new in this little package. And they've got little stars on them, little danglers. Little stars. This 473 was probably priced, what, 10 years ago, maybe? Yeah, know. probably. So we've got a total of two three, for a lady with big hair. Four teams of bear flag. We've got four sterling earrings. Two are definitely screw back earrings. Those are definitely the vintage ones. Yeah, these are definitely got some age to them. Yeah. And we were calling those beta fish, and then we've got the other <laughs> pair of swans. <laughs> Swan it me. does look like a swan. Guess we can call it whatever we want to, can't we? And then we got the bling bling squares. I did touch those. Those are not diamonds, probably cubic zirconian. Show the second ones again. What were the second ones? Did he just show the second yeah. ones? Yeah, I'll keep them up here. I'm at $14 the bear flag, looking for $16. There must be some kind of hit parade or something going on, man. People are buying an eBay like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. 16 and I've got 18 now, so I'm at 18 now with bear flag, 18 now 20. So at the mm -hmm. moment, we're just under five bucks a piece. That's a screaming deal. Including shipping. Including shipping. Move this one over here. Amber is out, so I'll call it sold to Bear Flag at 18. Congratulations. That's five, Bear Flag. Thank you. You get the hammer. Hammer. Sold to you. 270, right? That is, yep. 270. Bear flag, that's number 270. 270. All right, let's All do right, this cool cuff. All right, yeah, let's do this awesome cuff. Okay, guys. Um, this is an opal. The stone is an opal in here. It's a green opal. Uh, really neat cuff. Sterling silver. We get a measurement on this thing. The opening bid is going to be twenty five dollars on this. This is this is this is a, a fantastic piece. Fantastic. Wait you see piece. it. If there is an interest, that's fine. We will go ahead and pop that on eBay, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on my uh, wrist so people can see what it looks okay. like as well. All right, so twenty five dollar opening on this. Check check this opal out. Look at that, how amazing this piece is. It's a five inch bracelet. You're going to put it on. 
Yeah, so, but just like any cuff, it does have give. You can see that it does have the give there. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Yeah, the stone is fantastic on it. And look at, the, okay, there. I think you can kind of see the gleam. Yeah. Actually, let's lose the light. It'll probably make it really pop. Mm, yeah, figure, a little bit. come over here. And then kind of just. See how it almost glows like fluorescent kind of? It is extremely shimmery. Yeah, see there, you can see it now. There. Yeah, it's got a lot of movement in it. It is so neat. Very, very pretty piece. Yeah, there you go. See, no matter which way you move it, you're getting a different, you're getting a diff a different yeah. flavor. Yeah, see that? That's pretty neat. And I'm just kind of moving it around my arm a little bit so I can try and keep it in focus. Take a look. And there's, if I'm correct here, there's no markings on the inside of this. It is sterling. Oh, it is me. sterling, yes. Oh, no, there is a mark here. Hold on. Let's jump back in. All right, right here. It says sterling right there. Right there. That last spot that Bear Flag won, that was 269, right? 269? No, he won 270, the earrings. Okay, Bear Flag 270. Let's get a weight on this guy. Got a little bit of weight to it. It's got some meat on the bone. It is sterling 925. Yeah, it's marked sterling. It's 13 grams. Marked sterling, yes. Yeah, look at that shot. That You, you can really see that. Mm -hmm. That's a good shot right there. I've got $25. 25 now 27. A real nice modern piece. Definitely vintage. Twenty-five now twenty-seven. Yeah, retail wise, like eBay wise, I think this would be an eighty dollar and up cuff, easily. Probably just throw a hundred dollars on it. And somebody buy it. It does say nine two five on it. Nope, it says sterling. Oh, it says sterling. Yep. Okay. It says it right there. Okay. I thought you Where said my thumb is. No, Sterling. Okay, got it. Yeah, it's such a fantastic stone, isn't it? All right. Uh, Terry, I think this is yours. We are going to go ahead and call it So. $25. Congratulations. Wow. Great buy, Carrie. That is a steal and a half. That was, sure. that was a steal of the night. It absolutely was. <laughs> Terry, that was number 274. Okie dokie. Well, I think let's do one more necklace and maybe that's we'll call it a wrap, huh? Yep. All right, we're going to do one more necklace tonight and then we'll call it uh, a night tonight. You want to do black? I don't care. Blue. Pick one. Doesn't matter to me. How about black? Blue on black. Blue. <laughs> Whatever you got. Black. All right. What number you got? Just like I like my coffee. Black. This one I showed on the board here. This is number 
one six nine. Okay, lot number one six nine will start this off at ten dollar bid. Several different pieces of hematite here with the liquid silver. So we have a hematite bear fetish into the flat liquid silver. You've got the nice vintage melon beads there. That's got a barrel clasp on it. Mm -hmm. All these have barrel clasps. Then the next one you have also um, a bear fetish hematite piece with the feather. Some melon beads and a twisted liquid silver up into the barrel clasp as well. And then the last two we have, a, uh, I think the one is an anklet and the one is a bracelet. So the bracelet, again, you've got the flat liquid silver and barrel clasp. And that one has just a pretty little pink stone right in the middle. And the last one has twisted liquid silver. This would be more of an anklet, unless you have super big wrists. <laughs> and this would be um, into the barrel clasp as well. So all of the pieces go together beautifully. Yeah, they definitely got some shining to them. You can see by the beadwork that these are more vintage pieces, especially with the bare fetishes. I have a ten dollar bid. Do I have twelve? Jingle me out at ten. How about twelve on those? A nice hematite and bear fetish. Ten dollar bid now. Twelve now. Twelve. Ten dollar bid now. Twelve. I've got 12 to Christy. That's $3 a piece. Yeah. That's a wheel deal in a steal. Pick for profit hat is not for sale. However, we will have some merch coming out soon. I've got a $12 bid to Christy. Yeah, these really don't do some justice with the black background there on. Yeah. Kind of hard with our, the lighting. Jonathan's at 14. Let's see this. Is Good night, Jingle Meow. I've got $14 to Jonathan. Thanks so much. 14 to Jonathan, now 16. Christy is at 16, 16 now, 18. Jonathan's at 18, now 20. $20 in now, 22. Tell you what, being a hand model here is, is hard work. It is a little <laughs> bit. Twenty dollar in now, twenty two, 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 twenty dollar in now, twenty two. You easily get a cramp in your wrist, you know. A little bit. <laughs> 
Hematite and liquid silver, these are more vintage pieces. You've got the bear fetishes. I'm gonna say you go on once. I've got 22 to Jonathan, 22 now, 24, 22 now, 24, 22 now, 24, 4, 4, 22 now, 24. Newsom, you came in at the same time as Jonathan on that one, So, but Jonathan was first. Newsom's at 24, 24 now, 26. Twenty-four now, twenty-six, six, six. Twenty-four now, twenty-six. Twenty-four dollars in the high news. I'm looking for twenty-six. I will say going twice. Three times a lady. So three times a lady or two times a lady? Three times once, twice, three times a lady. <laughs> Although I don't know why you have to be three times a lady. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Quite, I never did quite understand. It just worked. And I guess it did. I'm at 24 of my newsome. And I'm going to say that's call in advance. Here we go. Mike Newsom is at $24 on this lot. This is lot number 169. Number 169, sold to Mike Newsom at $24. Congratulations, Mike. Congrats, Mike. Nice buy. Thank you. All right. Mike's going to get that up, and we are going to go ahead and call it a night, I think, tonight. We've been on just a little bit more than three hours, I think. That, That's too bad. Yeah, we, we have a lot of people kind of pitter out of here, so... Yeah. I know everyone's got lots of other things that they are doing. We certainly appreciate you hanging out with us and joining us on a Saturday night for sure. I have to sit. See, every time I'm in like the shadows. In my shadows. Well, it's because I have the shadows. shows too. Sometimes the dogs and I'll see the cat. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so we are going to call it a night for tonight, I think. And yeah. pop up sometime this week, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm yeah. back to school on Wednesday, so. We're probably going to do an episode of Scratchers tomorrow night. And I will need to do a Scratchers episode. Scratchers, and then, you know what? Always keep your notifications on, because if they let us in the casino, and they say, come on, Mike, you can film here. Right? Game on. Yeah, game on. Only slot machines, though. I don't think they let you sit there at the no, table. No, I don't think you can sit at the table, table but. But if you're bored tonight or whatever and you want to see what we were talking about earlier, um, it's Anderson, and Nancy, G's, and George slots. Yeah, right? that was fun. It's incredible. It's I mean, kind of fun. We were, I was screaming last night when the guy got $44,000. I'm like, oh, my God, you know? We are not high rollers like no. he is. That is for sure. Yeah, if we were to go, I'd be like, all right, we're just taking $100 each, and whatever happens, happens. Yeah. So, yeah. No, we're not bringing any credit cards in or debit cards. No, we never you know, do. You go to have no. fun, and if you win, you win. What you have. <laughs> Cash on you is what you have, so. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching us this evening. We certainly appreciate it. Make sure you do have those notifications on. New people, if you're still with us and you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, I guess. We're out of here. Yeah, thanks, guys, for bidding. Thanks for everybody for watching tonight. Go out there. Be great. Be amazing. Well, how does, I always script the, the ending. Till next time, we're out of here. Peace. Auction. Over. Over. Bye, guys. Be great. Thank you.